there was a huge band wave today. I've probably done too many item SSS points and camera hacks. No problem though, I've got a second account, Sexon accounts, Secondo account. Bow nuts, my heart stopped, seeing this because your channel is so effing good and has great potential. Yeah man, a lot of people got banned, oh well, I did too, too, chew. Hey vagabond, spawn me some champion souls, ha 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 yuck. You know, you could have just used family sharing to bypass your ban, right? It's only bound to your account, but it doesn't relate to Steam. You can enter the game using another account, which you'll have access to the game, through family sharing, Sharon sparring, sharing is caring. Slowpoke the rock, rolls in. Unban wave just happy and that you should be fine now, find out, kibe out. Nice try, from soft. Go to settings, family, share, care, bear, with another account and play the game without being banned. Oh no, not the item swap. Well, at least we still have our infinite iframes and insta curse. Sad face. I got a warning for and just haven't played online since, I mainly used camera hacks. Item switching for new tunes and made my character model skinny. I don't know how to remove this invalid data or else I would. Feels bad man. I hope I will find a way to remove it and go back online. Hope I won't get banned cause I never got the full ban. Just to remove the invalid data or get penalized. I got bun, 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 too. I know that feel ill ill. Free bo nuts, ho butts, go nuts. All right, boys, let's engage in some nice wholesome PvP. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's do it. Ooh. Come on. Bring that. Bring the noise. Yeah. Come on, what you got? What you got? This what you all about, baby. Oh, nice. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Alright. Oh, oh, bad idea, buddy. safe now. No sight. Now listen, I'm so serious when I tell you I can't make this stuff up. Okay? Now this is a, a steam post. 
that I saved a snapshot to way back in uh, 2015. Um, the exact date, June 8th at 6.48 p.m. 2015. All right. Now check this out. Uh, so this guy named Lunar SK8 goes on to complain about a massive tryhard cheater in Iron Keep. All right. He goes on to say his real steam name is Fuck the Revenge. He had infinite stamina and health, speed hack, and spams corrosive urns to destroy equipment. Need to report him together, guys. Sorry for my English. I will put a video on YouTube. Someone can add him as a friend. I have a program that we could see his IP and fuck his PC. That's what I'm going to assume it says. Now, I know all this stuff says eight hours ago, nine hours ago, but trust me, this was back in uh, 2015. Um, it was just recent when I caught the snapshot. Now, I was so appalled that it had gotten this bad. So, what, what I'm what I'm trying to show here is that things got so bad that cheaters started complaining about other cheaters. And what is a tryhard cheater anyway? I mean, it might exist, but that just sounds so confusing to me. Now check this out. So this is the uh, YouTube video. All right. And the dude named Fox uh, goes on to say, nice try, son. And then he posts his video. Um, and then he, of course, retorts, got tired of this guy invading with his speed hack and infinite uh, health points and stamina. But it seems he didn't like to be cheated against. Poor guy. So he goes on to say, stop invading me with infinite HP and stamina. There are also witnesses who will attest to you invading while using speed hack and infinite health. Nice to see you whining because you are uh, being out hacked, loser. Wow. So then he goes on to pe for people to back him up. I'm not sure how they all found this thread. That's interesting, but... As you can see, there's this whole inner working community going on where people are actually talking to one another and I'm just an outsider looking in. But as you can see, like everybody has an opinion. So this other guy uh, goes on to say, stay out the fight clubs, dude. Turn off your own hacks before you even try blaming others. I told him before I started it, his hacks weren't permitted. He turned them on. To deal with your sorry behind, which you ended up using with infinite stamina, speed hack, and infinite health against me, shrimps, another dark spirit with a dragon headstone, you have no excuses. So, for the most part, like, I don't have an issue, you know, and not with the situation, uh, I don't even know how to express it like this this is basically okay so I'm showing you this because this was basically my breaking point now keep in mind all of this is Dark Souls 2 related content uh, this is before Dark Souls 3 was I think even a thing like I don't even think there was an announcement for it I can check the date because I think given the exact dates might put a lot of context behind what it is that I mean but as you can see, so there's this whole argument, uh, you know, people confirming that, yes, this guy invaded me, uh, good job, um, your argument is invalid, you invaded people in fight clubs only to ruin everything by being an ass and breaking their equipment, I mean, everybody's got the video proof. Uh, this all this stuff is relevant and I'll show you why but I just want to show you this is what this is what uh, it was coming to hackers complaining about other hackers 
All right, so basically, I had I had enough. I was like, yeah, I I can't do this anymore. And just people, just hackers, man. Hmm. You still, you just met. No, you are still butthurt because I out cheated you. <sighs> Tyrannosaurus wrecked. And then this is just me. I'm just like. So here you go. Just noticed at this timestamp. You have 623 corrosive urns, and the cap is 99. And I'm just like, this. The fact that a thread like this can exist is the reason I just quit the game yesterday. I would like to state the fact that I told y'all so. Wow. Couldn't even wait a few more time. Wow. Wow. Alright.
Oh yeah, I was expecting it. Um See, this is the funny thing. Hold on. Let me do something real quick. See, this is the funny thing about that whole situation, right? Is I've been saying for a while now that surprisingly a large number of people who play Dark Souls are cheaters. Now, the I guess the natural thing for people to do is kind of accuse me of either being a hater or just getting angry because they can beat me in a fight and stuff. I guess which which is legit. You know, like, if I don't have any proof or anything, uh, how can I go around calling people cheaters and stuff like that, right? So, for a while, I was just kind of quiet about it. Like, I would just talk about it here and there in some of my really, really old videos. Uh, but, you know, never really say anything definite. Just be like, ah, oh, you know, this is strange and that is strange. But what's interesting is that all of the stuff that was building up to that video that I made where I just blatantly just said, you know what, I'm not going to hold my tongue anymore. I'm at a point now where I feel like I can just speak my mind because I'm showing you the very strange things that are happening in the arena. Luckily for me, the stars aligned. And just when I made that video, I think it was maybe a week ago, maybe less than that, a band wave hit. Oh, well, no wonder. Oh, yes, Horace. He's not very talkative. But without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the crucifixion woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep. Home of the Undead Legion, we may go our separate ways now. The next time we cross paths, may the flames come. We are well along beyond the flooded. We may go our the next. Okay. Because they never left here. That's why. Okay. Um. Oh boy, what is going on? Alright. So, yeah, um. Well, see, this is the funny thing, is the reason, and, and see, this is crazy. I kind of feel like the reason my channel is important, even though it's really small and, like, a lot of people don't like me, is because it's divisive to the uh, status quo because the builds and stuff that I make are specifically catered to counter people who play unfair you know in pvp and you'll notice anytime i fight somebody who's playing unfair you know unless the get the match is completely unplayable a lot of times you'll see me defeat them really easily but then i'll come back and then something else will be off but once the crow quills came out and i was able to punish them really hard for spamming like uh parries and stuff that have super huge windows they shouldn't have where like, they would parry and completely miss, but you would hit them and they would still get it off. Everybody keeps saying, oh, lag, 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 lag. I'm telling you right now, because of so much arena PvP in Dark Souls 2, I could tell you straight up that I know what lag looks like. And that's not lag. That is people cheating and messing with hitboxes and hurt boxes and stuff. So... I started just plain saying, you know what? No, this is what you're doing. Next thing you know, a band wave hits and like half the community gets hit uh, with a warning. And the cool thing I found out, which, you know, I didn't make a video about this yet, but I was going to do it in case like people tried to come after me. But the uh, what I found out about that is that the only people who got hit with the band were people who are using cheats whilst they were doing multiplayer. That is the secret. If you were just using cheats online, you probably just got a warning. But the people who had the invalid data warning, those were the ones who were using cheats in multiplayer. So there you go. So no matter what they say, oh, I was just doing it to upgrade items and all that stuff. No matter what they say, you got banned for using cheats in multiplayer. So what were you doing that required you to use cheats why you were in multiplayer that you couldn't do offline if you were just upgrading items and stuff. And there you have it.
That's why I said I don't want to hear it. I always do my investigations. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just... That's a pocket... Um, Yeah, that's a pocket video I'm going to make. As long as they realize that they lost that battle and they just leave me alone, they'll be fine. But if they try to push the issue, I got that one up my sleeve. So... <laughs> That's one I got up my sleeve. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Andre of Astora, I'm well pleased to see you safe. So let's look at a significant uh, portion of history as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> this is one of my videos that I posted on YouTube uh, called You Got Banned, a Dark Souls 3 rant. Um, now what's important about this video is I want you to notice the like to dislike ratio. Now this is important. Um, because this is actually one of my better videos, but I want to show you um, the the mentality <clears throat> of the Dark Souls community. Well, at least the uh, community that I've had uh, the displeasure of being a part of. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Now, this is actually one of my better videos, um, undoubtedly. Uh, the commentary is great. I make some really great points in this. Uh, I mean, you can view it yourself without bias and then tell me what you think. But this uh, video here was important to me because I was taking a stance. Uh, my stance was I was done with the cheating and I suspected uh, or I was fed up and I suspected that from software uh, was fed up too. And we were on the same page. Uh, so this was great. I thought this was going to be my breakout moment. I was like, oh man, you mean to tell me out of all of the years that I've been a part of this community from software is finally taking my side. I felt great. <clears throat> this, uh, this video was very special to me, but of course, um, like all things, when something seems too good to be true it probably is <clears throat> aside from the video i want to look at some of the comments all right now this will show you that i'm just i'm not making this stuff up uh this is actual conversations that i have with people in this community and i was documenting a lot of this for a very long time but i never okay so 
I, I wanted to see. I was like, am I crazy? Like, is it just me? Because it seems like no matter what I do, I always get hate. And I always felt at the end of the day, I had a leg to stand on because I was coming from a, a space of integrity or a point of integrity or moral high ground. Not a moral high horse, but just moral high ground. I don't see a problem with playing Dark Souls fair because there's all men, there's already so many unfair factors. <clears throat> and then on top of that, uh, there's newer players coming every day, which I feel breathes new life into the game. So why would you chase them away with a game that's already brutal with even more brutal aspects that shouldn't even exist because they're not a part of of the original game like why would you introduce cheats especially considering that people don't like invaders already nobody likes the idea of being in a tough spot and then having an actual intelligent player coming into their world and making stuff work and there was a time when i was completely on the side of people who complained about people who disconnect but after my experience with dark souls 2 even though I've played that game for thousands of hours, uh, I could probably look at the um, the exact amount of hours that I've spent playing that game, but I can see why people do it. And when people disconnect, I don't have a problem with it because this is what it's come to. So let's let's look at um, a quote from the Ab Abyss Angel. Okay, look at this name. Um, so. <clears throat> this guy says, hold on, put on my, uh, my Dark Souls, uh, community member who disagrees with Toxophilite voice. <clears throat> Jesus, this was painful to watch. You talk like you're the best player in the world, that you've never been beaten legit. Get a grip. Most people that used, use Cheat Engine only use it to quickly create builds so they don't have to sink 10 hours into the game to make a five minute video of their new build idea funny thing is it also included people that used discord overlays controller drivers ps4 dual shop and texture mods none of that i've described would be called hacking in a game it's not distributing any other player's gameplay or disrupting or disturbing right so i don't understand why such classification of a ban is in the eula from soft <sighs> have just banned more than half the community that aren't little kids <laughs> that get all the time in the world to play dark souls and make builds all day okay and then as you can see somebody agrees with them because they liked his post i certainly didn't like it but as you can see there's people who agree with that. <clears throat> now, mind you, I take the stance that if you didn't earn the equipment that you're using, you're cheating. And luckily, from software put in uh, fail safes where if your weapons were modified to a certain uh, power level or you put a certain amount of um, stones in it or titanite, They'd put you in another uh, PvP tier so you wouldn't be able to interact with people who just now, you know, started finding weapons and armor and stuff. Now, <clears throat> let's say, for example, or I'm sorry, like hypothetically, let's say that I agree with him, right? Just for the sake of argument, right? My standpoint has always been that getting the plus three rings um, or the plus two at the time. Or even a plus one ring. Part of the experience. Or part of the. Uh, I would say the. Um, yeah I'm going to say experience. Part of the experience about playing Dark Souls. Is earning those items. And actually traversing. And defeating the bosses required to get them. <clears throat> They're hidden behind certain difficulty walls for a reason. And a level 20 character shouldn't have that stuff. Unless you trade for it. And that's part of community. 
because when you're interacting with another with one another you're actually playing the game when you just start giving yourself stuff i don't care how you rationalize it you're bypassing all of the things that uh dark what dark souls is all about when you say you love the game that means that people don't get to invade you because when you're traversing these uh these worlds to get these items that's a chance to have an interaction with another player you're completely robbing them of that experience every time that you use cheat engine that means that the only uh amount of hours that you spend is in the arena or in pontiff when you should be playing the game just like everybody else so that means that you get to do all the invading and you get to do all the pvp and nobody gets to invade you because you're never playing uh the game to get items you're always just giving them to yourself that's toxic and there is no argument for that whenever you take a, away aspects of the game that keep you from contributing to the community in some way you're being toxic so of course i had to retort and <clears throat> this is what i had to say i said don't you find it odd that i'm suddenly the best player in the world oh yeah after a band wave hit still undefeated now to add context to this uh the character that i posted in this video is still undefeated i named him uh, arena champion and i was just kind of messing around the two things just kind of coincided because i was kind of curious i was about to say why are my fights so much cleaner and uh my counters are working and spacing is actually working like what's what's happening right now like why is it that people aren't attack canceling and rolling at the last minute like when i uh clearly saw them swing their weapon like why is none of these things happening now i was thinking these were just advanced techniques that i didn't know about like ravioli step or something like that which is a total possibility but i just found it kind of odd how all of the people who know those techniques were suddenly banned and weren't in the arena it just seemed too uh coincidental and so i guess uh, i go uh also the snakes in the grass have been exposing themselves okay uh some of the people you're defending uh are making cheat engine videos as we speak using it in ways that don't match up with anything you just described accept it it's true this <clears throat> to put context to that reply that is a direct reply to a guy who goes by the name uh dang no html or whatever uh i think his real name is like scott jund or something i don't i don't remember like i've i've been away for so long but this was a direct reference to him doing an invasion in pontiff sullivan uh as a super powerful character um who was using the Yorm's great machete or something like that. And I think maybe a shield too. Uh, he was just a tank character. <clears throat> and I watched him use uh, a cheat engine script that made his character, uh, his hitbox disappear. So basically you can't hit him. Uh, he tried to justify doing it um, for a reason because he said that the person that he was fighting was cheating, which is a total possibility because man if any place is a, a breeding ground for cheating pontiff sullivan and that entire uh area to and orlando is like the perfect like breeding ground for that so who's, who's to say that you know he was lying this is my problem though and this is why i bring this up because if his only intent when using cheat engine is to get items and weapons to make a character why does he have access to removing his hitbox why does he know how to use that he used it just like that like so it makes you think it's just like well wait a minute i know this is what he's telling you that he's doing but he knows how to use all these other functions pretty well so one can only suspect that he's used them before nobody's just like i know for a fact <clears throat> if i had a new program and i only used one aspect of it 
if I want to start messing around with new features, I would fumble around a little bit because I'm just like, oh, well, where is this located? But he knew exactly what he was doing. So how am I to believe that just because he's telling me that's the only way he uses it, that the people you complain about that are invading your world who you can't kill are those people? How do I know that? And that's kind of like, that's my headspace. Like, I don't believe you because your credibility is zero. Now, again, I want to clarify, like, I'm not interested in having a conversation with this guy. I don't want to PVP him. Like, don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. My only point was I was able to put the pieces together of what it is that I was talking about exactly. Um, it's not even really a theory anymore. I watched him do it. I addressed him about it. Uh, his viewers, um, criticized me. I don't, I don't even know if I have, uh, um, yeah, uh, records of that, but I mean, it was so silly to me at the time. I was just like, how are they making an argument for this? I was so sure <clears throat> Because there were so many updates coming back to back. I was so sure that a band wave was coming. That as soon as it hit. I knew exactly where to go. To see if my assumptions were correct. I wasn't sure that these people were banned. Because again. Like from software. The way they do things man. Like I would have been surprised if it was just nothing. But I brought it up. And of course 90% of them were banned. And they were talking about somehow uh, I'll just use my family share account and stuff like that. Just th these are the people that watch him is my point. Like, and I always feel as though birds of a feather. Uh, so his credibility to me is done. Like, I don't care how many people like his content. This isn't a channel size comparison thing to me. I don't care about none of that stuff. I'm done with dark souls, uh, games. Like, trust me. Like, I, this is just me you know, closing the, uh, the book onto, uh, on an issue that I've had for a while. And then you got this guy, man, talking about some, holy sh man, you need some mental help. <clears throat> uh, sure. Uh, probably. But you know, that was my whole thing. Like, am I crazy? This is common. I had to know, uh, still undefeated is the most BS thing I've heard. Now, this part is funny to me because uh, that wasn't what's important. I didn't even really think about it. Um, I always considered myself a good player, but being undefeated um, wasn't really my goal. I guess it, it kind of was, but I, I didn't go into the arena thinking, oh, I don't want to lose to anybody. Um, now, my my biggest, um, I would say my, my most... Uh, paramount goal was to improve uh improve my gameplay and to discover what it is that i want to do with that character and you got to fight other people as far as like i'm concerned to do that because then you get to learn whether something works or not you know typical stuff i don't really need to explain i just happened to go in there and be undefeated and i started putting two and two together but nobody believed me. And that's interesting because <clears throat> that character is still undefeated. And I mean, it's not something that, uh, I don't know. It's not something I'm super proud about. Like, cause I know for a fact, as soon as the band wave got lifted, that that character was probably going to lose. But I'm under the impression that as long as that band wave was in a uh, play, that character would probably never lose to anyone. And I mean, it just, I felt so much more powerful. Like, I, I mean, I don't want to get into it, but it's just that there's a certain way that I like to play the game. And there are certain things that I was pretty sure I knew. But the rules always seem to change all the time when I got in the arena for a while and I saw the same person. It's just like they would do the same attacks, but somehow they were better and they weren't changing their tactics. It would only be something like I was getting hit earlier counters weren't working they were canceling attacks i don't want to get into all of that but 
as you can see, undefeated. And this is what they decide to focus on, which is fine. I don't care. Um, oh, so here we go. Uh, I know, man, this guy needs to be posted on the sub for all to see. I don't know, even know what the sub is uh, still to this day. But here we go. So uh, Zimzilla99, uh, uh, one of my... Uh, followers um really good player I, I think i fought him uh right before i quit the game and we had like so many draws and he made a really cool assassin i believe um but yeah an awesome player um so anyhow he replies to abyss angel he says so you're blaming simple legality you're pretty much complaining about a company protecting their game's integrity this word right here, integrity, that's very important. Now, again, this isn't some moral high horse. The thing is, is this is supposed to be a skill-based game. Like, how is it that it goes from a skill-based game to a game where, like, anything goes so long as you get the right to rules? Because the thing is, is if you get to use Sheet Engine for what it is that you want to do, how does that make you any better than a person who uses Cheat Engine to do what it is that they want to do? I personally don't see a difference, but again, nobody agrees with me except for a very small few. Uh, not to mention, I bet you're thinking the devs and not the company. You're thinking of the devs and not the company. If you're trying to defend the breaking of an agreement every player agrees to, then... Petition for a, a more specific term of service or have the ability to fight a ban. The people who complained about getting banned are just the same as the people getting banned from Overwatch. I agree with this completely, but again, I'm in the minority, man. <clears throat> I mean, I don't, I've been fighting this battle like for so long that eventually I just got tired because for once i thought you know uh from software was on my side and i was gonna ride the wave until the very end but they gave in to um their customers and i understand it, it was a business decision when 80 percent of your players use cheat engine like you just have to accept those are the people who are fans of your game and as much bragging rights as goes into like, oh, I killed all these people during an invasion or I win 90% of my invasions. Like when you have to ask the question, well, did you do it legit? And the thing is, you just have to take somebody's word for it. Like, yeah, of course I did. I'm skilled at this game. I always have to ask the question, are you really? So then he replies to Zimzilla. Um, I mean, I don't even really want to read this they were deliberately sabotaging other people's play through cheating giving yourself souls to level up isn't sabotage sabotaging play yes it is and i explain why because when you get to bypass all of the things required for you to get the items that you have you're stealing another person's experience that means that the game is that much more empty because you're not playing it the way it was intended so, I mean, just from, I would say, wow, that's even a, a, an objective standpoint. Like, objectively, when you give yourself stuff without actually going through the game to get it, you're robbing other members of the community from interacting with you. So that means if the only person who is playing right now is a person who likes to invade certain areas, they'll never see you there because... All you do is give yourself items from that place and you never actually go there. So, yes, you're sabotaging other people's play. Yep, that's exactly what you're doing. Uh, the Eula says, due to affecting other people's enjoyment of the game, when it doesn't, yes, it does. I just explained why. They don't see the difference at all. They shouldn't because you agreed to a Eula. Uh, you didn't for a month before I used to the summer being over being heavily limited. I don't even like reading this stuff. Yeah, man, if you want to read this, like, go ahead. I'm just, I'm done. Japanese are known for their stubbornness. I mean, every excuse in accepting responsibility, like 
games are made for you to put the time in, man. Like, nobody complains in Street Fighter about, oh my god, this move or this combo is too hard. If you want to master it, put in the hours. Like, just, that's that's what you do. You know, and there was like this whole argument about, oh, it's not a competitive game. Like, there, it's a difference. It's just like, look, man, I've seen people brag and and talk about their accomplishments about how they beat the game without dying it, it's one of those games that are competitively fueled and it's about being the best so when you need crutches like cheat engine like i i don't even want to hear it man like I, i'm so done yeah but hey if you want to read it go ahead i i'm done i don't even want to hear what that guy has to say <clears throat> then it goes on and on uh let me see. All right, so this is the part. Uh, ha ha ha! Oh, this is one of my favorite. I read this in the uh, Angry uh, Game Nerds uh, voice. Ha ha ha! Undefeated, my ass! I couldn't even say that as loud as I wanted to, but fight me, and I'll show you who the real arena champion is. And of course, um. I think I might have ran into him, but I, I was just like, yeah, of course, with Cheat Engine on, of course you're going to beat me. Like, And he has replies. I don't, I didn't even care. Like, I was just like, eh, whatever, man. That's not what this was about. Ah, uh, bro, you're killing me. <laughs> now I got to watch another vid of yours. Again, this is one of my, <clears throat> this is one of my uh, better ones. Um. Okay, so here we go. This is a more interesting question. So this guy's like, uh, so I want to say and ask a few things. And this is where I got technical because, you know, I have experience in this. So basically, the extent of this question is how can you tell when someone's lag switching? The switch, unless you got the switcher's footage. Uh, I thought you could only tell if you were fighting said lag, lag switchers since uh, the screen for the lag switcher is normal. <coughs> Which is probably true. Uh, I'm not sure. In regards to, uh, you know, the Scott Jun guy, uh, he was confused as to how uh, he had the DLC stuff early. Yeah, sure. I don't even care. Uh, you say that he was playing like a douchebag. No, I wasn't critiquing how he plays. See, that's one of the things you always, you can always tell when somebody's not listening to what I'm saying because. I say this in every video is I do not critique how other people play the game or how they enjoy it. My only critique has always been is when they introduce cheats into the game that do not belong there. I don't care if somebody plays cheesy. I don't care if you run behind enemies. That's part of Dark, Dark Souls to me. It's made so that you can play how you want. As long as you're doing it within the rules. I have no problem with that. Once you start going outside of the rules, then we have a problem. So I don't even want to read what he has to says, say, but you can. And I'm sure you, you can probably agree with him. Here you go. You can pause this video and read what it is he has to say. But I mean, I've read the same response so many times. Like, I don't I don't even really need to uh, read it. Oh, he actually. um, Yeah. It's actually replies to that. So let's see. Ah, my boy Zimzilla99. Uh, in truth, most of the big YouTubers are not that much better than most. I agree. He's talking about the, uh, you know, the big PC players coming from a uh, PlayStation Four. Uh, Praise Oro and Peeve. Uh, people like Solus, Bow Bow, Broken Sword. Um, yeah, <sighs> yeah, he's talking about the secondary account they have, and I mean, <clears throat> weekly band waves, I agree, yep, so for the most part, this is just like, if you're interested in reading this, um, I mean, seems like the band wave only hit those uh, that were just item swapping and just trying to get a build up and going instead of spending five to ten hours on it beforehand. Like, that's part of the experience. Like, 
and see, this is why I feel like assassin arts was so important. I really wish that the community took to me better because I was trying to show them um, how it's supposed to be done. Part of creating a build in Dark Souls uh, 3, in my opinion, is the entire experience. It's seeing how good your character is against bosses <clears throat> and other players. So you're supposed to experience all of that. Um, and then you get to really decide. It's just like, oh, this character is this way. But if all you do is PvP, I mean, for the most part, if you if you can kill another player really quickly, nine times out of ten, your character works really well against uh, most enemies. But sometimes that's not true. And the fact that a lot of people don't get to experience that because they just cheat engine themselves those items without actually going through the stage, beating the difficult boss that's uh, blocking those items off from you. You know, it's you're missing the entire experience. And it's Assassin Arts was in a, a comprehensive guide from beginning to end of what the Assassin is. And what's interesting is just like in Dark Souls 2, my character wasn't completed until the DLCs came out because it was very limited. So the character was never really good. It was just okay, which was disappointing to me at first. But when the DLCs came out, it changed everything. Um, and that's the thing I wish. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really know how I could get myself to connect with the community, but it's just it just never happened. But. I feel as though assassin art is a very important contribution to the community. And for those who have the patience, I will say, because I'm apparently boring and I don't have anything interesting to say, <clears throat> um, suffer through it and you might actually learn something, man. Huh. Before another big dog comes back from the band. <laughs> yeah, I mean... More of the same, man. More of the same. And so, of course, I respond to him, man. And I, I'm just like, look, I would have answered your question if I knew you were being objective. But it seems like you're just another alt. And, you know, it's just, I argue with the same guy. It, it's almost, it almost makes me believe that it's the same person sometimes, but... Hey, man, if these are different people, uh, I guess they're all on the same page, and I'm just not. Like, if that's what the community is, again, I quit. I don't want anything to do with it, man. Screw the Dark Souls community. I'm done. Uh, and, of course, the collection of videos, of my videos leading up to the one that I show here. You must know what I'm talking about, or maybe you don't. I don't know. But my undefeated tune is pretty unprecedented. Considering popular opinion of one, how I fight, my lack of informed criticism, right? And at this point, the burden of disproof is on the opposing team for once because all my ducks is, are in a row. And basically, I'm telling them it's a cool story, bro. I don't want to hear it. Anybody who got banned, they're on the same side. It's about integrity, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I forewarned them that it was coming, uh, and I'm going to continue enjoying, you know, you can continue enjoying his content all you want. I enjoy some of his videos too, but I am subscribed, <clears throat> you know, and I'll tell him, man, if that's how you feel, um, and you want to hear me say, sorry, you know, I explained how the cheat cheating in Dark Souls three hurt me and other players. I mean, I've done it many times on my channel. You know, even the people who I, you would consider innocent cheaters. That's actually a term in this community. Innocent cheaters. Like, the stuff, like, and these are supposedly intelligent people, man. Innocent cheaters, or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't even want to read what I said. Like, it's just more of the same. And in his retort, um... He's basically saying he's not at all. And, you know, I didn't want to dwell on that. Disagreeing with the leg switcher statement. 
uh, if you see a picture, of Dom, I mean, just these terrible comparisons. Either way, how you look at it, if uh, he didn't use uh, Cheat Engine, the DLC weapon, since uh, he streamed it. If you're dead set against the footage of these the DLC, I didn't even know about his DLC stuff, to be honest with you. Um, those are people who actually watch a lot of his stuff that wouldn't know. So this means that this guy watches him, this Daredevil guy. I didn't really watch him like that. There were a few interesting things he did. Uh, there was this one video where he used this Lux staff that I was really interested in using because it was really strange. Um, and he used it really well and it was based around uh, the different great sword, the magic great sword and magic uh, short sword combination. And it was a staff that was based on luck and some other stat. And I think you get it from either um, one of the grub men who died under a bridge in uh, the Pontiff Sullivan area <clears throat> or Bull Rail Valley. Or you get it from a mimic um, above Pontiff Sullivan's uh, room after you uh, defeat him and then you kind of walk and then take like this uh, elevator that goes up and down. I don't remember which which it is, but uh, it, it's something to the extent of that. It's a really weird um, weapon, but he used it really well. I really enjoyed uh, that video. Like that's one of my favorites of his. I think I actually have it saved to my favorites, but... Yeah, well, he's not cheating, man. I think he's a great uh, contributor, but, you know, I, I'm not here to get into the headspace of somebody like that. Like, he has his reasons. I just don't agree with him. Um, so, yeah, if you want to read what he had to say, I'm not interested. Like, I've seen these things a thousand times. More of the same. Yep, pretty much. More of the same. So, let's see what he had to say here. Uh... Yeah, so you can read this stuff. Yeah, I'm not an alt. Ah, so I think this is important. So this wasn't just about him. As you may know, many of the popular streamers had DL Sonic uh, content before release. And this is mostly talking about him. Uh, I just know he had it. I didn't know that he had it. Um using cheat engine or anything or somebody gave it to him i don't know man they, they got so many stories the only person i've seen take responsibility for having the dlc weapons and getting banned was praise the sun and he's another person that I, uh whose content that i probably watched the most out of everyone because his morakumo video was legendary i have that saved in my favorite somewhere too it, it was a morakumo from dark souls 2 he was so good with that weapon man um so yeah, um, all these accidents, like, I don't want to hear it. Like, people will say anything. I don't believe, like, once you start using cheat, cheat engine, your integrity to me is just like, it's not worth anything. But, you know, there's plenty of cheesy, overpowered, and annoying things to get upset about. If they're choosing to have a tantrum over my play style, like, I mean, there was a time in Dark Souls 2 where people were using Ice Rapier and, like, these engraved gauntlets and <clears throat> all they would do is poke 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 i don't i kind of feel like at this point i don't even really need to explain myself because i'm pretty sure that a lot of people feel like me now in hindsight but they'll never admit it um and really i don't care like at this point like the evidence is here i'm gonna show you my case i've been collecting all of this stuff for a very long time you can read all of this stuff if you want to. Like, to me, this is more of the same. And you got my boy, Dark Blood Souls. Be like, tell him, man. And then they asking, like, uh, is it considered cheating to back up your saves? And I agree. I have stopped cheating. Ah. He didn't get banned, uh, but he got the invalid data warrant. Okay. But yeah, man, I'm not in the business of, like, trying to tell people what my opinion on cheating is. Like, backing up your saves, to me, <clears throat> I don't think that's ever been a stupid, uh, 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 I would say, um, a cheating thing to do. 
if that makes any sense. I back up my saves on a lot of games, and I mean, a person can probably try to use this to be like, aha, see, you're not completely, man, look, I am not about to depend on, you know, some corporation to keep my uh, precious files safe. I'm from an era where we had memory cards and and uh, and memory sticks, and all of a sudden, like we're supposed to trust this cloud and all this other stuff. Man, no. So, I mean, you can take it how you want it, but backing up saves, I'm totally like not against it. Now, how it is that you decide to use that, that's different. But this isn't what this is about. This is about cheat engine. So. I mean, take it however you want it. I'm not explaining myself. Ah, so we have more. This does not show the strengths of Valor Heart. You may as well be using a decent straight short and one hand to get it. Basically, you're taking my fighting style, man. Like, at this point, I'm undefeated. So, I mean, obviously, what I have to say to him isn't necessarily the most in-depth thing. I mean, you can read all of this if you want to. I mean, I don't really care. You can pause it. But, I mean, I kind of feel like if you're fighting people who aren't on your level, like, you don't need to style on them really all that much. Like, styling on somebody, for me, is when they're actually good. And then you really get into the match and you start doing all the fancy stuff because it works. And not just to be fancy. That's why I like assassin arts, by the way. Um when they fights are clean but i mean for the most part man i'm so past this i don't even know what i said to him but i'm sure it was to the extent of uh like why are you critiquing my style if it, it's making me win like if a decent straight sword was all i needed like i could have picked one up i mean And he's like basically saying it's a less skilled way to play using Valor Heart. Any scrub can play reactive with a short scrub, medium shield. Any scrub can be undefeated. More of the same. Like this isn't what this is about. So if you're interested in reading this, go ahead. You know you can pause the video. Uh oh, uh, but this one is important. This guy here. Excuse me. So this guy name is Project Goof. I don't feel like you understand the game too well. <clears throat> oh, I'm so glad he said that. When I was in your stream, if you remember, you were calling people hackers because you couldn't hit them and had quills, which is a low range rapier. And even when you did connect, you didn't notice it. You seem to be an, emo an emotional player. You don't look at the game's mechanics myth mixed with latency and instantly jump to, oh, he must be hacking or abusing some in-game exploit. You mentioned people abusing. All right, we're back. We're back. Okay, so he goes on to say, you mentioned people abusing phantom range. Phantom range is caused by latency, which both p uh, players experience. Because it's peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, there is one-sided uh, lag, though. If you are the opponent and have bad upload or packet loss, which can cause teleporting, etc. Uh, say I fight you. I live in Australia. You live in America. There's like a 200, 250 to 300 ping, uh, give or take. If we both had washing poles, uh, we would have to play as if our characters were one to two seconds. In the past, safest way to play with latency is to roll every attack unless you feel you can space your opponent uh dark souls 3 isn't competitive uh isn't a competitive game but any game can be competitive if that makes sense now this is a very logical argument and <clears throat> though i don't agree with project goof and i'll explain exactly why i don't agree with him these are the type of arguments that are worth looking at um, now the thing is, is even though his argument sounds great, I've, uh, had the unfortunate experience of finding out the hard way. I would say that I wish it was that simple. I wish, <coughs> excuse me, I wish people were just lagging and that was the end of it, you know, but it's not. And I'll get into all of that. 
Now, I'm sure in some cases that may be true, but I've been playing long enough to be able to tell the difference most of the times. Now, I'm not going to sit here and suggest that I'm psychic and I can tell every single time, but a majority of the time I can, and I can prove that <coughs> because I have a history. Now, just to quickly address uh, some of the things he's talking about, as far as when I say people are abusing phantom range, what I mean is, is they're purposely setting it or setting the connection settings or whatever it is that they're doing in a way <coughs> where the person that they're fighting is always at disadvantage. Now, there's a number of ways they do this. Um, and one of the more typical ones is to give their weapons extra range that they don't have. Now, I only know about this because I've played people who've done it. And what confirmed it for me is I watched an episode of a, a recording of Dark Souls 3 that Lobos Jr. was doing where he was using Cheat Engine. And he was just kind of messing around with it a little bit. And there was a setting to extend the range of your weapon. Well, what do you know? Now, of course, if you're one of the cheaters that I hate the most, you're going to do it in a way that's very hard to detect. You're not going to go overboard. You're going to make little small changes here and there to your character to give yourself <coughs> the ever slight advantage. It's not going to be anything overt. And that's why they're surprised when people are able to detect their cheating like me. Because it's those little details that add up. And that's what they do. And as I said, those are the worst types of cheaters, in my opinion, is the ones who do it and try to hide it. I can't stand them. All right. So let's take this a little further. Let's look at my reply. And I was excited to hear from him. So I'm like, hey, Project Goof. Now I'm like, at this point, I have to trust my own instincts. I, I really do. You know I respect your point of view. But had I taken your advice, I'd be banned right now. And I'm going to show y'all exactly what it is I mean. I don't want y'all to just take my word for it. I got to show you. And this video wouldn't exist. This vid is gold, by the way. I mean, this is one of my best pieces of work. Anyway, uh, my very different experience of the arena in my stream <coughs> and PVP as a whole compared to what things are like now simply cannot be ignored. How does a player like me, emotional, quote unquote, good, but no cigar, and top tier reflexes but average player go from being you suck at Dark Souls you just think you're good because you're delusional to undefeated arena champion 76 to 0 this was my this was my win streak at the time I forgot how I came to 76 um so this might not necessarily be right I think this might actually be higher I forgot how I came to that number, but because it wasn't really important to me, so I'm kind of shocked. Um, it doesn't matter. So anyway, uh, overnight and after a surprise band wave hits, don't you find it? Don't you find that just a little bit suspect, even a little bit? Now, this is the thing. If I have so many flaws in my play style, which I'm sure I do, but if they're fatal ones, <coughs> it shouldn't be something that's only present, you know, when I'm using an unfamiliar weapon. Now, see, this is the crazy part. With my assassin, I have, I would say, over 600, 500 to 600 hours of gameplay with that character. Tweaking it, understanding how he moves and I would understand that character much better than I would the arena uh, champion who's you who was at the time using a very new weapon which was the Valor Heart. <laughs> now mind you the crow kills was kind of new too 
but I considered it like a more familiar weapon. It was just like a smaller version of my S stock, in my opinion. And it had several different functions, admittedly. But I had been visualizing being able to use that weapon for a long time. So it kind of naturally fit the assassin. But I mean, we can talk about that another time. That's not what this is about. But how do I go with the unfamiliar weapon to such a high win rate? And however many matches it takes to become a gold, uh, to get a gold score in the arena, um, you would have to add that up. So what happened is my, uh, is my question. And this is after the surprise band wave. Understand, I didn't plan this. All my counters were working. Everything was working. And that's a little bit suspicious to me, right? Now, uh, player versus player is the lifeblood of this series. Let's not split hairs now. Now, I'm not going to get into this because my beliefs on what Dark Souls is has nothing to do with this. Um, so I'm not going to get into that. But, uh, so let's see. I can't agree. I'm hitting target right now. Uh, you might have been right before the band wave. Now, this is how I am. A lot of times I don't draw conclusions publicly until I can prove my point. Now, this was proof for me when the band wave hit because I had been accusing these people of doing all these uh, malicious things. And then as soon as the band wave hits, I'm undefeated. Now, that can be considered uh, a little presumptuous. But, <clears throat> I mean, if you think about it, it, it's almost conclusive. And I'll, I'll show you why. And I didn't just use the band wave as evidence. Like, there's there's a lot of things. Uh, afterward, I have to disagree. So, you know, this is just me styling on them. Like, this is a little overboard. But I make the point that if you have a plus two ring in the arena or all the spells and you did not earn them and you're fighting 50 plus people who don't have it because they never touched new game plus yet and you haven't either, right? You have an advantage and that's true. You really feel <coughs> that lowering their arena ranking with your character advantage isn't cheating of course you are you're on steroids we all know to, that some victories come down to a razor thin margin a plus two favor of protection favor and protection ring and a plus two clarinthy ring right anybody who plays this game knows the difference in these clarinthy rings i want somebody to sit here and lie and say having a plus two ring does not make all the difference all right, it it can and will make a difference between fights. We can't act like all the enemies they face are followers of their channel who don't mind. That's very important. Now, if you d disagree with this entire video, right? Which I'm sure a majority of you do. Tell me this is lie. This is a lie here. Tell me that. Cheat, cheat engineering your uh, self a plus two Clarinthy ring with your level 40 character isn't cheating. I want you to tell me that right now. I want you to tell me that. Please. And I want you to justify it. Please tell me. Plus two Clarinthy ring without going through any of the steps to get it. Just giving it to yourself. Tell me that. Not trade. Now, I mean, if you trade for it, you know, that's totally fine. But somebody had to go through the, the effort to get you this. Tell me that's not cheating. I want you to. And then my fourth point is, uh, that may be true, but cheaters aren't welcome here. I'm going to remain vigilant in speaking up about it. Things were getting out of control at one point. I can reference to <clears throat> you to... An arrogant conversation that I had with some of the cheaters who follow this dang no HTML guy, for example, if you want to see why I'm still so passionate till this day. Now, I'm not as passionate. I don't really care at this point, but 
I mean, I've had this conversation so many times that I don't even need to go to his channel to show you. But I'm going to show you. Don't you worry about that. I'll show you how I came to this conclusion. Like, I didn't just happen overnight. That's what everybody thinks. But no, that's not what happened. We're going to have to agree to disagree on certain things. <clears throat> and I think this just devolves to... um difference of opinion between competitive play and whatever i don't think we touch on anything specific uh and it's talk about challenge him to a console battle that way he can't cheat i don't i don't want to fight that guy i don't care and you know this is just more of us talking about the stuff that doesn't really apply to this but if you want to read it go ahead it doesn't it's of no consequence in my opinion it's inconsequential ha 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 um, so let's see what we got here. Ah, so this is kind of where I make the argument that, um, this game is competitive. Uh, if you want to read that, that's not really, uh, all that important. I think we go on more and more about the stuff. It's casual PVP. Uh, that's not important either. <laughs> Uh, Goners. Oh, yeah. So this is basically me talking about my expertise. Uh, as far as like, um, okay, so here we go. So I'm no expert in introducing false lag, but I kind of forced the conversation to happen in a steam in the steam forums a while back with people more qualified about delaying packets and such. Where they confirmed it's a thing people abuse, often in games, not just Dark Souls. The entire discussion started when I began suspecting that cheating in Dark Souls 1 was more elaborate than people made it out to be. And I got my first confirmation message. So this is, I've been doing this since Dark Souls 1. That's why even though it might sound like I'm being arrogant or that I feel like I know what I'm talking about and nobody else does. It's because I actually did the research. Like, I'm surprised that I guess that I'm the only one passionate enough to actually look into this stuff. But, I mean, I don't have anything to show for it. Like, I'm not bragging about the fact that, you know, I was so passionate about it. I mean, look, I don't even play Dark Souls anymore. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I didn't get my money's worth. Like, it was a great experience. When I did Assassin's Arts... For the most part, I was able to go through the entire game unmolested. Uh, if I did run into a cheater, um, I don't remember. And if it was a cheater, it was somebody who was just doing the typical phantom range stuff. You know, it wasn't anything malicious. Like, there was no person with infinite uh, health or throwing corrosive urns until my armor broke. You know, it didn't seem like it. Uh, I didn't start running into those problems until I started doing PVP, um, which of course the game started getting a little older. Actually, you know what? That's not a hundred percent true. Now I would say assassin arts for the most part was unmolested, but I did have an alternate character who's, uh, I would say s not even story, but whose gameplay I rarely covered. But I ran into a lot of cheaters there. And I'll, I'll show you all this stuff. Like, I've been keeping records, so you don't have to believe anything I'm saying. I want to show you. Anyhow, yeah, let's move on. That's not even important. Um, yeah, this is me talking about my expertise. Uh, you're avoiding the point he's trying to make. Dark Souls 2 was meant to be casual, even though... Uh, from software, me several updates to try to balance the stuff, whatever. I mean, that's not even important, but nobody updates a casual game to fix broken stuff. Like, and then the changes they were making were like minute things, like, it wasn't anything major, but whatever. Yeah, I'll give you time. Like, if you want to read this stuff, you can go ahead and pause it. It's not important or relevant to. Uh, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, devoted following. 
in my point of view, simply appears to be more true. Mm, I'm not the one being arrogant or bigoted. I can understand why he feels that way. Don't get me wrong. Like, I've been by myself on this journey, I guess you would call it, for a very long time. It wasn't worth it. Like, I don't play the game anymore. I'm not interested in being part of the community. I don't have faith in the community anymore. Like, I don't want to get the next installment. Like, it's, to me, it's dead. Like, I'm, I'm never going to buy another uh, Souls game ever. Not even Bloodborne. Like, I'm done. And, and you know, I don't br blame from software. Like, they're a gaming company. It's just that uh, when it comes to games like that, the community is very important to me. Like, you know, because I really enjoy PvP. So my thing is, like, if I can't even play PvP unmolested, what's the point? Like, this was, and the thing is, is, like, what I will put on their shoulders is this was the third game, and this was their chance to get it right. The fact that it was more of the same is disappointing. You know, that's that's my only point. Like, it was just more of the same. Uh, And look, I, I try to tell them, I didn't write this. It This doesn't seem to fit uh what was described by either of us. I'm not going to toss away my point of view or compromise because it'll grow my channel. You know what I'm trying to give me the advice that, oh, your channel would be bigger if you simply compromise. Nah, man, I'm not doing that. That's not why I got into all this. But, you know, that's not even important. Uh, yes, the wiki definition of casual games. This is more of uh, more of the same. Uh, and here's my boy Zimzilla wishing that I had more views. And I went into this expecting, you know, not necessarily to fail, which is what happened. Uh, I was just expecting to not be very popular, but I thought the community would come around, but they didn't. And so here we are. Uh, keep up with your vids. Um, thanks, man. I appreciate it, but that's not going to happen. I'm done. Man, he was so supportive, though. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Ah, hello, hello, and welcome back to Inconsequential Souls. So today, I have quite a bit to cover. This is going to be a long one. So I briefly want to go over cheaters. I'm not going to give a whole bunch of time to that. Uh, it's just affected me in a way where I got to talk about it. Um, here we go again with the early access. I'm definitely going to rant about that. More of a discussion format. And the new DLC weapons and animations. Um, all stuff that I'm excited for. Especially like the backstabs, repulse. Just speculation. I'm not sure exactly what's going to be changed. Um, in the upcoming patches with the DLC updates. But I'm going to speak uh, briefly about. Well, maybe at length. I, I got a lot to cover. So let's just get into it. Okay, so first of all, cheaters. Now, as anyone in my channel knows, I compete at Pontiff a lot in duels and PvP, and I just recently started doing invasions. Now, alright, so I wanted to go in with my anti-shade, and I used to clear out fight clubs, like, twice over. But suddenly I started having a problem even winning a single match. And as you'll see in the following videos, like, I win maybe two videos out of, like, this entire, like, discussion. Like, I'm not joking with you. And I I'll, I'll kind of go over what it is, but just pay attention to this fight. And uh, you'll basically see the problem that I've been running into. Now, this is exaggerated. Like, don't, you know, don't, don't think that I've been running into people like that all the time. Uh, that's just, uh, that kind of put me on the right path to what was happening. Okay, so I had a discussion with my fellow anti-shades. And somebody asked, um, you know, how have you guys been doing with your bloodshade hunting, etc, etc. And I was kind of like, uh, you know, uh, this is when he asked me when things started to kind of go bad. So, prior to that, I used to clear out fight clubs like twice over. And I noticed that even during that whole thing where I was clearing it out, 
uh, when I started to go to him much later on, there was always like this one guy who was also clearing out fight clubs too. And so the natural thing would be for us to fight each other. And then, you know, I would usually win. But things started to get a little weird. And I'll kind of go into detail about why that is. And I'll try to keep it short. I'll try to finish it by the time this fight finishes it. Uh, finishes it. If not, you know, I'll just kind of close up as quickly as possible and move on to the next subject. Okay, so what I noticed is like, I... This is a habit that I picked up from Dark Souls 2. Now, in Dark Souls 2... I was usually the victim of uh, latency, which meant that um, I could be hit by my opponents a lot, um, even though I felt like I was dodging at perfect times and all that. So I kind of adapted to that. The problem that I still had was actually landing hits. So one technique that I came up with was I call spot checking a person where you anticipate what they're going to do and you kind of attack before they get to the... Uh, place that you expect them to be and you know basically uh get your hits in that way so i've been applying the same uh principle to dark souls 3 and it seems like i cannot uh yeah i can't do it anymore it's sort of like even when i'm attacking somebody whilst they're attacking i still don't get my hits in so to, to close it up basically my suspicion is that people have been using speed boosting hex so it's like something that allows them to one animation cancel and two i guess attack slightly faster so i notice anytime i'm getting hits either i'm trading or i'm being beat out which is strange to me because i'm thinking either i got downloaded overnight cleaning out those fight clubs or you know i suddenly got bad at dark souls um i you know i didn't know but once, like, I guess this guy kind of gave me the telltale signs, and I'm putting up quotations of what was happening, I kind of lost my edge and stopped being competitive. Like, I don't know, it's been really tough for me to take matches seriously, and so you, you'll mostly see me sandbagging, because it's sort of one of the things, it's like, I improve in Dark Souls games by trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong, but if I can't be sure if I'm even doing anything wrong, like, it kind of puts me in this limbo where I'm just doing things just to do them. So, naturally, I would want to take a break from Dark Souls, but the DLC's coming out. I'm not going to miss out on my opportunity to, you know, uh, contribute to the uh, Dark Souls community like I've always been trying to do. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to let this discourage me, but the only thing is, like, now I'm wondering, should I even play online? You know... I, I'm I'm kind of like I'm in a um I'm at a standstill right now. Like I'm not sure what I want to do. So uh, just just for now, like I'm thinking, just go through the motions. But I I don't know. Like I don't like the cheating is starting to get to me to the point where I'm just like you know because the competitive edge of PvP is like trying to constantly improve. But it's like I said, like if I don't know. If I'm doing anything wrong and the only way I'm losing is because I'm not getting fair fights. And so I'm not getting accurate reads on how weapons actually work and stuff like that. It puts me at a loss. So I don't really know where I'm going to go from here with that. But I guess I'll just go through the motions. But I really wanted my uh, newer content to be exciting and fresh. But I can only be as, I guess, um... I can only have the integrity from which the uh, community allows, so there's that. I don't really want to get too much into it, but that... Alright, so at this point, I'm kind of complaining about a uh, um, very specific thing. I can't be sure at this time if it's lag. I'm not sure what lag is. All I'm noticing is a pattern uh, when people are about to die. A very similar thing happens um, turning the tide of the match uh, for a very long time you know until I started developing thief arts which would counter uh, lagging and I guess you would call it like high latency so eventually someone addresses it and I'm not sure how accurate this information is but it seems to apply 
uh, specifically to what it is that I mean. So the guy whose name looks to be Tupac uh, Siberia, <laughs> uh, or tu Tupac uh, Serbia, whatever. Anyway, he goes on to say, I don't really get what you're saying, uh, but you probably mean you saw your opponent stop, then you'd hit them, and they wouldn't take any damage. Then they'd start moving and take all the damage momentarily. If so, that may very well be the mysterious lag switch or the plain old unplug, plug back in procedure. If, however, you start feeling that they hit you when they shouldn't and so on, it just means the latency is too high. Now, latency is the time it takes for the information from you to reach the destination. If you are playing from California against someone in Siberia, uh, interesting, uh, the information has to travel through a lot of uh, intermediate nodes, each of which takes some uh, 20 milliseconds to send it further. I suggest you read about and try the ping and tracer console commands. Interesting. I don't see a way to increase latency from own experience. I've played on 64k connection with Skype in the background and uh, it didn't change much. The connection was bad to pretty much everyone, but I was living in Central Asia back then, so it figures. Uh, some offer to suggest uh, clog the connections. Um, but I don't see a good way to do that either unless you are a dedicated uh, server you'd send a hundred uh, millibits per second too since others will just block you for that even if you torrent or something and do have high latency it works both ways latency is response time so if you send slowly then receive or receive the answer just as slowly doesn't matter. This is why it's ha uh, hardly impossible to weaponize lag. Uh, well, unless you employ it in a uh, psychological warfare where your opponent can't deal with lag and gets confused if you study, if you suddenly stop uh, taking damage as opposed to backstabbing you 10 times instead. All right, so let's move on to something a little bit more specific. Now, this is my Steam page. Uh, I go by the name of Toxophilite East. I guess to explain that name is I also played a game called Vindictus. And one of the issues I always had was starting missions or uh, community quests and forgetting that the game was divided from coasts. And I would always do that, and then everybody who wanted to join my quest would be on the West Coast, and I'd be on the East. So I put this in my name to remind myself that um, I always need to address, uh, you know, which coast I'm on when I'm doing missions and stuff. But yes, this is my Steam page. Um, So why did I bring you here? This is Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition, and I want to show you a message that I got. On February 26th of 2014. And it's by Mist Crowd. Mist Crowd. Crowd? I don't know how to say that. 618. It doesn't matter. Um, And of course their reputation is three stars. Whatever that means. Now this was when. um, I believe. Oh Games for Windows Live. Yes this is when Dark Souls was running on Games for Windows Live. Oh that was awful. That was just terrible. But look. Check this out. This is back in 2014. Now, I want to put context behind this. I was very new to the community. The game had already been out at least two, maybe three years. I don't even know because I'm not even sure when Dark Souls was released. That's how unfamiliar with the series that I was coming into it. But I came in ready to wreck face. And uh, yeah, man, I was suspicious. And I got messages like this. There is a special software exists to make lags. So special software. The thing is, it's just like, if you want to cause lag, 
uh, people have told me there's a bunch of different ways to do this. But this person is basically expressing that there's a way to weaponize it. A special software to make lag obviously gives you an advantage. Now, I didn't press this information out of him. I was just curious about why it is that the game was so laggy when we were fighting each other. And I guess he just didn't care. He was using some kind of special software. And it's like I told you. This is deep, man. And, of course, you know I had to rub it in. Face palm me all you want. Cheating scumbags. I'm not new to this PBP thing. Cheaters gonna cheat. Bust it. And I don't know what it is I was trying to accomplish with this, but... Wow. And look, it was 125 days since I was last online. Like, that's how done I was. And 126 people viewed it. And had nothing to say. Yep. Now... This isn't anything definitive. Let's show you how deep this went. So, I was so passionate about cheating, all this cheating, that on the date of May 6th, 2015, at 11.12 p.m., I created a guide on how to report cheaters in Dark Souls 2, Scholar the First Sin. And look. I got a four star rating with 110 ratings. Now, I want to show you something interesting. I have an 110 ratings, but look how many people viewed it. 6,000, all right, in 81. 6,081 people with 55 current favorites. Now, I want to show you that how can you possibly find anything malicious in this? guide here to where 6,000 plus people viewed it and it only has a four star rating. What did I do wrong? Mm -hmm. Makes you think, doesn't it? Why four stars? I mean, okay, but let's just go with it. Like, let's just say that's just the internet, right? And this is pretty elaborate, you know? I went into detail about how to go to the Steam overlay. I had all these chapters. I never finished it because I just gave up. But the information in here is useful. You can check it out yourself if you want. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But yeah, man, this is how passionate I was. I think this guide is ranked 31 in the top guides. That's the last place it was when I last checked. But yep, this is how passionate I was. Now let's look at the comments, which are always great. And this is how some people look at it. This is why I got a PlayStation 4. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't blame you, man. So I got, thanks for the useful guide. You know, freaking hackers. I hope they all die. I don't, you know, I'm not that extreme, but. Thanks, dude. Some hacker used weird hacks and crashed my PC. I hope this helps to ban hackers and praise the sun. I totally believe this dude because I've had weird stuff happen to me. Um, now, of course, I can't prove it. I'm not going to go over any of that, but I'll show you like, yeah, I'll show you. There's times when, you know, I was threatened, you know, cheaters, you know, people, nobody likes them, you know, bullshit, you know, delete it. It's got something to say. But yeah, man, I was invested. I was invested. Ah, here's another one. Uh, basically has Cheat Engine Wizard in his name. Hacker dude. I mean, it's crazy, man. Look at that. Doesn't even care. Wow, multiple VAC bands on record. Well, this is his Steam community profile. I'm sure he's still probably out there doing his thing. Place Terraria. Ugh. Probably cheats in that game, too. Just disgusting. But, let's look. <clears throat> ah, so, uh... Oh, yeah, this is why I, um... Yeah, this is why I saved this one. I forgot. 
So people who say that you can't weaponize lag, well, would you look at that frame rate unsuitable for online play? Return to the title menu. So I want to ask all those people who keep telling me that you can't weaponize lag. You do know attacking a person's frame rate is a, you know, that's a type of lag. Um, and I feel like it's a very popular one. Now, one that I can tell you specifically is there was this guy in Dark Souls 2 in the arena who used to drop uh, those little glowing stones. I forgot what they're called, but I'll just call them uh, used to drop uh, pathing crystals, right? And, you know, he would just go, bing, drop them, bing. And it seemed as though it was like maybe 10 or 12 in each one because then they would start making like a weird noise, like a bunch of glasses breaking. <clears throat> and I noticed my frame rate started to drop. And after he dropped a certain amount of them, he would start trying to attack me. And I would run way across the other side of the map. Um, and then he would try to start dropping more. So because I saw opportunity to attack, I think I barraged him with a bunch of uh, fire snakes and then killed him. But, yeah, man, this goes to show there's different ways to do it. But here, not only did he steal my humanity, which I don't know how you do that in the arena, but he also attacked my frame rate and made me get dis uh, disconnected from online play. So, yep, can't weaponize leg, huh? All right. All right. Now, this one brings back some serious memories. There's a lot to this one. Uh, so, of course, I got trolled by a, a cheater. And what was interesting, if anyone's ever fought uh, Aldrich, he has like this little particle effect attack. Now, when this guy first did this to me, I knew I was in trouble because, like, you know how your instincts go off that this isn't a move in the game. But what was interesting is those these little... um particles were all over the place and this place already kind of looks like disneyland so this it was really pretty admittedly when he first did it and then they started slowly crawling towards me and i was like um yeah i'm about to die <clears throat> but you know because it's a, a hacker uh the particles hit me even though they were nowhere near me so when i got the idea to start running away like it was nothing i can do because you know the particles were going to hit me regardless anyway um so yeah of course you got to see who you're dealing with <clears throat> i don't know i just have a feeling like a lot of these people are are like just repeat offenders i'm sure that this is a guy i had an issue with in dark souls too i'm just i'm just pretty sure of it. oh wait what do you know what do you know whatever i, I don't know man Ah, oh, here it is. Dinnerland. Yeah, man, I used to go through it. I I tried everything in my power to try to fight like people like this off, but can't care more than the uh developer does. It'll never end well for you if you do. So I had to just emotionally de invest from the series. Um, it's all you can do, really.
Now, I just wanted to take a moment to take a trip down memory lane. Now, again, when I'm fighting people, I just want to see who I'm dealing with. So don't take any of this stuff too seriously. Like, I'm just looking at profiles, man. You know? So don't sweat it. I'm just, you know, I'm just browsing. Not really a big deal, you know? I wouldn't take any of this too seriously. You know, just browsing, just wondering, you know, who am I dealing with? Just curious. Sometimes you just want to know. Steam was a lot different back then, man. All right, so let's add some context to this. So I was running in my opinion, and to so many cheaters that I had to find out if somehow I was in a thing called the shadow server. Now I know a lot of you are just like, wait, what the heck is a shadow server? And, you know, it's like I told you, this goes deep, man. I learned a lot talking to these people, man. So what a shadow server is, is it supposed to represent a place where all cheaters are allowed to continue playing their game in peace with other cheaters. And what's funny is again, it ties in to that discussion that I had about cheaters complaining about cheaters, which me, which I was absolutely done. When I saw that, that uh, Steam post, I was so done. I can't tell you how done I was, but that's how serious I was. I knew about stuff like the shadow server, all that. So I go to ask them, I'm like, yeah, uh, Bandai Namco, am I banned? Like, did I do something wrong? Why, why am I constantly fighting these people? And they thank me for contacting me. You know, Dark Souls, uh, Dark Souls 2 server team has gotten back in regards to my account and they, uh, mentioned that they never placed any bans or, or restrictions on my account. As for players using hacks and mods in the game, as we aren't uh, the team performing these restrictions, we don't have any information regarding this. However, please rest assured that the Dark Souls 2 server team in Japan is actively monitoring the servers and banning any players who are violating the Eula. And yes, they, they certainly were, but uh, there was a workaround, a very obvious one, and we won't get into that because that's not what this is about, but this this is deep. This goes to show you, man, I was serious. I would All I wanted was clean fights, and this is, this is how far it went. I'm telling you, like, I, I can't make this stuff up, man. So another notorious uh, cheater is a dude named Bagel Porn. Uh, well, here he is. Nobody can dispute this one now. This guy was notorious, and of course I had to run into him. Like, lucky me, right? Out of all the people, you know, just looking. I'm not insinuating anything just taking a look down memory lane this was like near the end of 2014 ah I love this post here now understand I just proved that lag can be weaponized. I, the burden of proof is no longer on me. So here, a dude named uh, Tupac uh, Serbia, of course, um, believes otherwise, but I'm sure I probably covered this before, but hey, like, you know, take a look if you want. I already proved my case. I didn't say it, you know. I knew lag could be weaponized, but I never claimed that I knew how to do it. Other people told me. You know, just looking. 
Uh, this was interesting. So, let me tell you this funny story. So, one of the funny things I wanted to do was I wanted to test the limits of how far people would go because, you know, Dark Souls to me is a game where you're supposed to make other people's lives miserable. And I would come up with different creative ways to do that. And one of the ones I did was I would punish uh, blue invaders because, you know, I was a dread scumbag dark wraith or, you know, dick wraith. And uh, I would get them to invade my world and, you know, I would, uh, I would gank them. Now, I thought it would be funny because rather than doing it with another player, I just did it with one of the NPC phantoms, uh, Masterless Glencore. And, of course, you know, everything that I do always has to be taken to the next level. So someone decided that they wanted to use cheats. And it was a blue phantom. So I'd say, really? you just going to cheat, huh? These, you know, my little screenshots. Like, at a, at a certain point, I just got tired of talking to people. So I just, this is just memory lane stuff. And this is the guy. You, the thing is, you'll start to notice a pattern. That's why I said you just got to know who you're dealing with sometimes. Like, I don't just say things to say them, but whatever. I, I'm done. I don't, I don't even care. You know, just taking a trip down my room lane. Don't mind me. Don't mind me in the slightest. Mm-mm-mm. Isn't that interesting? Just look at that lineup. Could all be a coincidence, though. Who knows? <laughs> oh, this guy. I remember him. Whatever, though. Oh. I think this was the beginning of that conver conversation. So I might be continuing it. Um, so better not to take strange items due to the ban. <clears throat> ah, and I said, ban, are you banned? Ah, so how, that's how this came up. Okay. So I asked him about picking up strange items or something like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. It was so long ago, but yeah, that's how that conversation started. <laughs> yep. Infinite health. Ooh, invaded by the dark spirit cheat police. And this was a person, you know, who's probably looked up into the community. Look at his font and all that. He's, you know, it doesn't even matter. Like people who, people who play, uh, you know, Dark Souls 2, like they know the font's not supposed to look like this, but he was invaded by the cheat police and I guess this was supposed to be funny but you know I wasn't amused but of course I don't have a sense of humor because I'm boring the moment I cheated in a bunch of stuff and as far as I remember this guy's pretty popular so I mean I told you man I don't just be making this stuff up oh this guy mm. well yeah that's his full name so Anybody who's uh, followed me knows exactly who this is, but I'm not insinuating anything. Ah, this was the hacker warning coming your way. You want to take a look at this? Like, be my guest, but this is what I be talking about, man. I don't make this stuff up. Yeah. I don't even want to read this stuff, but yeah, this is for you. You want to check it out. Let me move this out the way so you can get a nice, good look. Like I said, the burden of proof isn't on me anymore. I've, I've, I'm done trying to make my case, man. Uh, somebody complaining about being a soft man, maybe? I don't even care. Serves you right, man. <laughs> if 
family share. I found out all that cool stuff, man. Ah, uh, this was my little group I created. You know, people sending me all that hate mail. Like, you know, I had to style on them. I was like, well, I'm not going to complain, but I know I can rub it in. Hey, that's my thing, man. Like, I love to rub it in. But I guess my punishment is uh, cheats. <laughs> I mean, you just start to notice a pattern, man. <laughs> I ain't even insinuate anything. Ah, uh, I think this is another controversial one. So let let's let's go over this one real quick. I don't just want to skip over this. So wait, you're a huge contributor, but also a cheater. Why? Contributor, cheat. You were the dark wraith character in the arena, correct? That'd be me. That taunt you did. It's not in the game. Neither is the speed of that sword. Mine is faster. So why the cheats? I don't understand. Yeah, nah, straight swords were always that bullshit. I know about them though, which is why I used uh, the technique I did. However, I paused for a second while you kept going. I felt it. If I wanted to cheat, I'd make it blatantly obvious like those people with the 30 spell effects going off at once. And that's... Oh. And what's this about a pause? I don't understand. But you did. That taunt. How'd you get it? By being open-minded. Well, I gave you a chance. Sorry, man. This is the stuff I'll be talking about, man. So... If he's going to use cheat engine just to do a special taunt. Okay, okay so let's okay, so let's do the whole sake of argument thing. Cause I <clears throat> I love doing this. Cause it's it's the burden of proof is on the other side. Let's say for the sake of argument this guy's an innocent cheater. I showed you that I emailed uh Bandai Namco to check my account because like I was fighting so many of these people and I was confused as to why so I must be banned and I must be in a shadow server but of course you learned about family sharing too which allows you to circumvent that uh so it doesn't last but they did put their foot down one time uh you know but they decided to back down or backpedal we know but this is my thing though so let's say that I'm in the wrong, and I should not be accusing this man of giving himself any types of buffs in the fight, right? The thing is, is he's using cheat engine to some extent, and he said he would be blatantly obvious about it if he was, but should I just believe him? And the thing is, is he said he got that taunt by being open-minded. He didn't say by just using cheat engine. I mean, just say it. I use cheat engine. Now, the thing is, is what's wrong with the... The default taunts in the game a lot of them are pretty good why'd you have to get that one and the thing is if i'm to you know expect that of you that you use cheat engine just to get a taunt i'm supposed to believe that like that's all you're using it for why should i believe him <clears throat> and the thing is is how did i even know he was a cheater see that's that's the big thing well i mean of course obviously because he did uh of a taunt so that that's a stupid question to ask but like how did how how is it that i'm just complaining about wait a minute that sword see this is the stuff i'm talking about let's say he didn't use any other cheats but the taunt right it's so bad at this point like how do i believe him like it would have had just been nice if i just lost and he wasn't using cheat engine at all wouldn't that be better Rather than me losing, having a reputation for spotting cheaters or always complaining or accusing people of being a cheater. And then them ended up using cheat engine to some capacity. Like, why can't it ever be the opposite? Like, why can't he say, I don't know what you're talking about. You're, 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 uh, you're a fag. Like, screw you accusing me of cheating. Like, get out of here with that nonsense. Nope. Never happens. So... 
Or maybe it does. Let, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's prove me wrong. Up oh, here we go. How'd you do that? You became, you become a high knight, and then you sit. Uh, is sit a gesture? No, it's when you rest your body on your ass. I love it. I mean, how do you do it in the game? It's with a modded tool. Ha ha ha. I only use it for good, though. Oh, here we go. More innocent cheaters. Not one of those evil asshole hackers with infinite health. See, uh, <sighs> I don't even want to read the rest of it. You know, you're you're free to do whatever you want. I'm I'm kind of done. Yeah, I'm done. You can you can read the rest of it. Harassment in the arena. There's no place for that. Not harmful, but against the Eula. See, hey, I don't even. I don't even care at this point. Oh, look at that. Man, look at that. I don't even have a... Oh, wait. Oh, hacking is a part of Dark Souls. I forgot which conversation that, uh, that was. Man, that was absurd. That was absurd. Absolutely absurd. Oh, but here we go. Here we go. So let's see. Let's look at some of these. I'm actually interested because I don't remember this. <clears throat> Artorius didn't have infinite HP, but whatever. I was the Prince Ricard, by the way. Oh, cosplay master. I remember fighting him a lot. A lot. What's the point of cosplaying a boss? Uh... When all you're going to do is backstab fish. Because you know you can't backstab bosses. He's got a point. My health was going down uh, on my screen. Ass. And I mean, uh, he's complaining it was infinite. That's what I'm saying. Cosplay Master might be under the total belief. Like, hey man, I'm killable. This should be fun. And everybody agrees, man. Some people just want a nice clean fight. And you're robbing them of that. Innocent cheater. Mm. Players of Dark Souls uh, 2 cured my cancer. <laughs> uh, well, at least three people thought it was funny. Yeah. yeah, I'm done with that. Whoa, <clears throat> somebody likes it. Hold on, I got a little blue arrow here. Why'd I put that there? Thanks, at least someone likes my cosplays. Ah! Oh! Man, I feel your pain, man. At least someone likes my content. I understand, but... Huh. Not everybody did, man. People had a lot to say. 14 lines of it, man. But, you know, I don't have an opinion. I'm kind of done. Uh, immune to fire, man. Yeah, I remember this guy specifically. I actually had a video of uh, the fight between me and him. But whatever, you know, maybe he has a point. I mean, you can read this if you want. I'm kind of done. Ah, people started getting creative with uh, their hate mail. But, you know, I still recorded it.
Now let's look at another supposed part of Dark Souls. The notorious hate mail. Oh yeah. Now, of course, I know this isn't unique to Dark Souls. Uh, but you know, let, let's let's go into it anyway. I got a message from Boss Haru. Anybody who gets that reference. Um, anyhow, Boss Haru is like, hi. I'm like, hello. You're not bad. Uh, you know, but stop shooting those fucking arrows, you impotent wank stink. Now, I think this might be like a British slang. I don't, I don't be knowing, man. These people are from all across the globe. But so I'm just like, okay. And he's like, thank you. Um, and he's like, what's your build? And it's just a dex build, uh, and attunement. Uh, fucking hipster. Uh, I like your outfit though. Uh, and, uh, I was like, I did it before. It was cool. Check out my YouTube and, and, uh, and consequential souls. Uh, I will, you adorable bastard. He's definitely, uh, British, uh, or from like the United Kingdom to some extent, uh, in consequential gaming and I'm like yeah he said like, get frap scrub and I'm just like uh, he's like I subbed but only because I want you inside of me that's funny and I started laughing but yeah uh not really hate mail like this this was actually kind of funny to me and you know I know this isn't probably unique to Dark Souls but it gets it gets much worse uh this one I actually thought was funny but uh let's um Let's look at some more. Let's see what we got. Ah, this guy. Um, this was pretty harmless too, but um, this guy was interesting because it seems as though from the way that he worded his profile that he gets a lot of hate too. So he says you're probably here to be a keyboard warrior, etc., etc. Uh, but what was interesting is, you know, I got to see who I'm dealing with. So with him, uh, yeah, this was an entire conversation. I was basically, I think, telling him um, about how bows work and daggers work. And this is when I was doing the whole uh, thief arts. Um, and this was an interesting conversation. But me and this guy had like a little rivalry going on for quite a while. So this was more of a. Not, ne not necessarily a constructive uh, discussion, but you know, it wasn't toxic, so, yeah. Oh, but yeah, here we go. This is more like it. Now, what I find interesting is these people are supposed to be the trolls. So, I, a lot of times I'm just lost for words uh, with some of the stuff that comes out of their, you know, uh, mouths, I guess. Um, so, he says, are you some kind of retard noob? Well, let's rematch and see. Oh, yeah, I remember telling my friend about this one. He's going to enjoy this one. He's like, for what? To heal ourselves in a warmth forever? Healing spells are for homophags. And I was like, and so are hacks. He says, and am I hacking? And I'm just like, either that or you're using lag software. Either way, next time we meet, I'm going to wreck you. He's just like, lag software? What the F? Now, see, this is one of the uh, times when it's just like the conversation could have just ended. Because I was just like, oh, don't matter. Because, you know, to me, I was just like, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let me put some context into this. I had developed uh, thief arts to the extent where lag and like little minor cheats not the big ones where obviously i can't kill the person but like you know the little ones that kind of give them an advantage they stopped mattering at this point so it was just kind of me taunting them uh for the most part so i says don't matter come get some he says okay man i'm gonna get a two shot ivory king uh, ultra great sword so that was his strategy and then of course we go into the arena and wrecked it's like i said man says uh so now we're one to one and i still have approximately a 90 percent win rate and that's pretty pathetic <laughs> if that's his only strategy is to two shot you and he's got a 90 percent win rate that's pretty pathetic uh so no problem no gestures <laughs> are welcome in this covenant um so let's see uh Go to your fucking blue sentinel homo faggery. Uh, not just wrecked, 
but wrecked with dagger. Ooh, that had to be painful. I was pretty good with that. Um, I have a video called Standing Dagger Arts, if you can stomach uh, the fact that I didn't have uh, fraps. But <clears throat> yeah, I was developing a lot of thief techniques that I was trying to... Um, I was trying to translate into Dark Souls 3, which I think I successfully did for the most part, but I mean, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Have you never killed Ivory King? Uh, New Game Plus 7 with a dagger? Uh, I don't know about all of that. I just know you got wrecked. <laughs> Wait, did you even get one hit? Ooh, watch your mouth, son. Thank me you're alive in Drain Lake because of me. And you know, he starts talking about all this lore and stuff. Uh, I don't I don't care about none of that so I say it's true but you still did get wrecked you gotta admit that um oh here he goes uh, I simply can't uh go against your homo faggot <laughs> faggery and I'm just like welcome my sword doesn't have a good jump attack to counter the faggotry uh you're doing and uh now it's two for one that means I win right uh, <clears throat> did you get wrecked harder that time or nah? <laughs> so he says it's the same old shit. I can't do a shit uh, if you just run. And says, sorry, but I know all about the Poise Boys. So basically his strategy was to take a hit and then two shot you. I mean, that was a strat. I mean, that's really easy to counter. Uh, then he pulled out an Ice Rapier. Oh, I totally forgot about that. When his... Uh, sword wasn't working he uh he went this low now again i'm just being uh facetious i don't i don't care what techniques people use as long as you don't cheat i don't care uh i'm curious though is your weight reach is your win ratio still 90 percent now <laughs> you know i just like taunting him oh he says oh yeah i guess i've played 175 games approximately and just lost like 15 uh, you must be pretty pro. He says, nah, just spam R1. Oof. He has a 90% win rate by spamming R1. I feel like that's pretty pathetic. And, you know, let's say for the sake of argument, he's being honest. This is why I wanted to develop Thief Arts, because spamming R1 and poise shouldn't be that effective. Um... Now, obviously, I fell for it uh, the first time, and I'm not sure exactly how that happened. I guess um, I was maybe being a... It doesn't matter. But, like, he, he got wrecked every other time, so I'm not even going to get into that. Well, if it's working against 90% of the red fandoms in the arena, that's pretty pathetic. Uh, yeah, and your win rate? And I tell him, well, unless there's lag, this is what I always go to, whoever I fight is pretty much dead. Or, or, of course, if they cheat. Only Dex build because you're a tryhard. Interesting. Dex build because since Dark Souls 1, when Thief was terrible. Facts. I was simply taking everything that I had from the first game and porting it over to the second one. And the difference was, you can't exploit backstabs footsies is actually a thing and poise can be uh, countered uh, in a more reasonable way and of course um, you know lag didn't make that much of a difference because the stun lock was a little bit more reasonable but you know aside from all of that it doesn't really matter um, and you know there's my little evidence oh yeah I remember but still now it's uh, the effing meta like playing a pure mage or a katana faggot. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am role playing a character. And I go, too bad <clears throat> for you then, huh? Did you want my sympathy or something? <laughs> uh, I was such a douchebag. Um, ah, he's the divine ivory king. But eh, I don't even know if any of this is worth reading after that. Oh yeah, I'm just, this was me, you know, giving a little bit about my history. I knew this stuff would come up again, which is why I go into so much detail. 
then you don't understand the true nature of Dark Souls. People love telling me I don't understand this game. And they're probably right. And that's probably why I'm gone. Oh yeah, and I told them you're probably right about that. The only reason I beat Dark Souls 2 was to get the upgrade stones to spawn. Uh, had it not been for that, I would live in the bell tower indefinitely. Which was true. <laughs> that was one of the most uh, enjoyable um, places to PvP in Dark Souls 2 until all the cheaters started uh, coming in. So Maybe someday when I learn uh, to parry with this uh, fucking ultra great sword, uh, which is impossible. Well, you have lots of practice um, targets, don't you? Welcome, Jester. And so yet. Yeah. That's pretty pathetic, though. 90% win rate. Oh, here we go. Ah, people telling you what to do. Don't play this game, please. Too hard for you. And I'm like, what do you want now? Read again, you dumbass. It's like, I don't play the don't play the game, please. Too hard for you. I I did. I, I still don't get it. Who are you anyway? Are you the ninja guy with a dagger and katana? And I'm like, so? Uh, and this dude's like, oh my god, how stupid are you, Jesus Christ? Yeah, I'm done with you. Ooh, I don't even want to read this. Mm. Oh, you are not skilled. That's another favorite. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, man. I, I think I reported this guy for harassment. And he called me a stupid Chinese, well. But yeah, once this kind of devolved to uh, name calling and stuff, I think I pretty much tapped out. Wow, I was a stupid whore, all that. Playing like a scum, running for hours. Scum, you're the one who just complained about running then ran away. Lag stabber. I rolled away and then I get a stab animation GG and of course you know trying to flip it the script but I tell them well because I waited how are you rank three <clears throat> this is when I was going up for my rank and not know about waiting so basically the principle here is you bait out a roll because typically if somebody can uh, like cancel their attacks uh, they'll be swinging. You'll try to backstab them. They'll cancel their attack and enroll. And then you'll just be left there with a missed backstab. But what I started doing, and it's a typical technique, is I started waiting. I would bait out their roll, and then I would just follow behind them and then backstab them as soon as they recovered. Like, it's a typical technique, you know. But like I said, I don't know how it looked on his screen, so he might have a point. I don't even know what this is you know, anymore. Oh, you could just go fuck yourself with your cheesy ass tactics, scrub. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Short and sweet. Get good, scrub. GG, faggot. Mm. Try that again. I triple dog dare you. What are you, like five? <laughs> oh, got to see who I'm dealing with. Oh, he's actually 18. I'm not reading this, though, but if you want to, go ahead. But I don't even know if that's the same guy, but I think it is. Spoopy. Oh, yep, that was him. Complaining to me, but you're the, supposed to be the troll. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, I don't lag switch. Ha, ha, ha. He said, you just use that as an excuse. Oh, yeah, I heard that before. You are terrible at this game. Okay, excuses were made then, shrug. And you need phantoms and lies to make uh, up for losses. And please, oh, did, was there more? I don't know. Well, let's see. Mad cause bad. And just because you're good at hiding it doesn't mean I don't see it. Good, good, get good scrub. Don't want to spend any more time with a scrub like you, bye. Uh, I don't remember this one. If, if I remember correctly, 
This was the guy who I think was a blue phantom. And I had Masterless Glencore and I was trolling blues. And he didn't necessarily turn on God mode or anything. But what I think he did is he was kind of like gliding across the um, the arena right through Masterless Glencore and it coming for me. And I was doing everything to try to hide behind Glencore and Glencore was just swinging. This guy wasn't really rolling or anything like he was just trucking for me. Uh, and it seemed like he had like a lot of stamina. Um, and then, you know, I would take occasionally take breaks behind uh, Masterless to kind of regain my stamina. And this guy was still going full throttle. And then eventually he just cut me down. Uh, totally ignoring Glencore like he was swinging the same time Glencore was swinging and Glencore's attacks were just going right through him so I mean I might have accused him of lag switching but he could have just turned off his hurt boxes I don't I don't even know it could be anything doesn't matter ah this creative hate mail this is some of the older stuff too I'm glad I uh changed my profile picture a few times because it kind of puts it in context. Oh, I guess, of course, the date helps, too. But, yeah. Oh, what we got here? Why do you try uh, so hard? Ha, ha, ha. To do what? I don't know. You run away from me uh, when I'm trying to fight you. Oh, I thought you were running. I'm literally walking at you, and you're walking away from me. Talk, Taking out your bow. Well... I mean, I guess that answers the question. If I'm shooting you with a bow, of course I'm going to run away. It's not a melee weapon. Like It's just stupid stuff. You have been diagnosed with trash build-itis. That's funny. Well fought, sir. You know, it's not it's not all bad all the time. You know, just got to see who I'm dealing with. <laughs> you gave me cancer. That's funny. Oh, here we go. Hey. You are the ninja. And I'm like, yes. Well, I'm trying to figure out why you don't appear as a red phantom. I uh, haven't got a clue. And, of course, I had to explain to him, this is a ring item from the new DLC. Now, I think I saved this because this goes to show as much as people will tell you that, oh, I played thousands of hours and I've never seen one cheater. Just goes to show we're not all that lucky, man. This guy seems like he had questions. And the cheating was so bad at one point that you had to question why somebody didn't appear as a red phantom in the arena. That's how bad it was because, believe you me, people were doing it way before the DLC came out. So, Ah, you're a huge faggot. Try fighting sometimes. <laughs> Funny. Oh, more phantom range, so of course I'm not going to fight you. Not going to lie, that was the most confusing PvP thing I'd ever done. Indeed. Was I lagging? Up. Oh, I think I might have a reputation at this point. Indeed. I'm not lag switching or anything. It's just the shitty servers and matchup systems. Souls 2 has. Thanks, B-Team. No, uh, I don't. I'm indifferent to this one. I don't. I don't look at this one way or another. He's just kind of curious. But I mean, <clears throat> this goes to show. As early as uh, you know, 2014. You know, later 2014. I think I had a bit of a reputation, man. Why do you keep leaving duels? Every time you attack, the frame rate drops horribly. Every time I come close to hitting you, it drops again. I didn't trust the fight was legit. Uh, yeah, I believe at this time I tried to stay away from accusing people because, you know, at a certain point I was just like, eh, it, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, I'm not hacking or cheating. I thought you were lag switching or all F4. Fair enough. But I wasn't because... If I was lag switching, I would have pressed the fight to try to win. I wouldn't disconnect. So that answers that question. Oh, there's more. Um. Well, I mean, I guess I'm uh. I'm explaining what I did. 
But I don't even want to read that because it's not important. <laughs> I think uh, you're a gigantic faggot. Is this the same one or a different one? I don't know. Ah, this one wasn't necessarily hate mail. I remember this guy for some reason, though. Hmm. Eh, I don't, I don't care about this one, though. Oh, friend invite. So what we got? Ha ha ha, you're a little cocksucker. Uh, where's the honor saying you're a blue person? I don't know. Probably under that big fucking fat NPC summon you got there. Are you seriously complaining about me being a dick wraith right now? Yep. Masterless Glencore setup. Uh, another one I used to do is uh, Jester Thomas from... Uh, dang, what's the name of that place with um, all the poison? It uh, it appeared in Dark Souls 3 too. I can't, I can't remember the name of it. Um... With the windmills and stuff, but yeah, that that one was a little bit more enjoyable. It was just a lot tougher to get Jester Thomas, so I just stuck with Math Masterless Glencore. Uh, get off your McDonald's Wi Fi. That's funny. This one was actually funny. This made me laugh. Good fight. This is uh Kaido, by the way. Oh, alternate accounts. Alternate accounts. I'll be telling y'all. Way to cosplay a shit stain on humanity. Just die in a fire, get caught up in a school shooting, or get tortured by your own government. Buckwit. Wow. Alright, buddy. It's just a game, though, right? Oh, this guy. I don't like his face. He looks familiar, though. I wonder what he's from. Diego. I don't know. Looks familiar. Oh, more friend requests. What did he want to say to me? Fucking pussy. You got styled on. Oh, yeah. That's all he wanted to say, I guess. I don't know. Oh, GG, but man, even if I'm uh, kidding you, uh, I am parrying with sword. You're very boring. So you prefer pursuers, sword spam, and rapier pokes. Okay. Eh, not, I mean, if you want to read this, but I don't, I don't care. Just more trash talk. What you got? Oh, hello. Would you mind telling me what your character name was? Rindell. Oh, the guy that didn't want to fight without a corner to hide behind? Seems about right. Could I ask you not to do that? Should we fight again? Parkour Gandal. Oh. oh, yeah, man. So this, I think I was asking a question about uh, Drang Lake, um, the Drang Lake sword. The one that has both lightning and magic infusion. And uh, it wasn't poise breaking people, so I... I wanted to make sure, like, you, you got to check, man. I don't know all the weapons, so I wanted to see what was up. But come to find out, my past came to bite me in the ass. And this guy had something to say. But I don't, even, I don't think I know this guy. But I think it was related to, like, something else. So I was looking. I was like, did we, did we fight or something? Like, eh, I don't know who you are. But, you know, it, it comes up later. You're terrible, get good. Well, it's kind of dishonorable. Cosplaying a thief, though, man. Ah, oh. It's all making sense, huh? Nice cosplay. Yeah, I make cool-looking characters. That's, that's a fact. But don't care about this one. Oh, wow. For me not to care, I did a lot of uh, back and forth. Oh, wow. We talked a lot. Well, I'm not interested, but if you want to read it, go ahead. Oh, boy. It's still going, huh? <laughs> you got styled on. 
Ah, yes, this is where he came up. Somehow, Parkour Gandalf and him had a conversation about a fight with me. I'm not sure why it was that deep, but whatever. Don't care either. <laughs> but that explained to me kind of how it is that uh he came to find me in my post. But yeah, man, I'm telling you, this stuff goes deep. I don't be making this up, man. Here's Sanic again. He already covered that. Ah, just me giving somebody some advice. This is me doing my good deed for the day. Telling them uh, to get the prepare to die edition. See, this is this is uh, one of the reasons I feel bad. Because I loved this series so much at one point. That I used to recommend it to other people. I would never do that now. But, man, I brought friends in. It just hurts saying that out loud, man. I regret a lot of decisions I made. I should have just kept this to myself. Don't play this game, please. Too hard for you. Sounds like something I already talked about. Oh, suck my dick, huh? Yep, just got to see who I'm dealing with. <laughs> GG, I hate you. Hmm. Ah, here we go. New cheat engine script going around. Be careful. Uh, what should I look for? Uh, no hitbox and gradual curse. Ah, uh, this no hitbox thing comes up again. Uh, I had a no hitbox guy and a uh, streamer had a uh, yeah, slow curse. Yep, not the only one, man. I mean, I have opinions about uh, this whole interaction we used to have, but that's not relevant. So, <laughs> more complaining. Oh, we did a lot of talking. I mean, if you want to read this, um, you can. I'm not interested. Mad because you lost. Eh, maybe. I don't remember, though. Ah, oh, what we got here? So what was your plan? Is the only way you can win by uh, by you hitting someone with a bow <laughs> from the start and then running and healing? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> because I already have uh, an aura. Uh, and I'm not taking a stupid loss because of that. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what happened here. Uh, I'm okay with a stalemate, GG. Oh, this one was funny. Sorry, when a person uh, brings heal to the arena, I consider it an evasion. An invasion. Oh, yeah. And I won, by the way. Ha! Now, this is important because unlike Dark Souls 3, in Dark Souls 2, you can time your opponents out. And whoever has the most health by the end of the match, or percentage, because <clears throat> health is, like, different. Like, somebody can have 1,300 health. You can have like 800, but if percentage wise you're in a health lead, uh, you'll win when the clock uh, hits zero. Uh, so yeah, uh, the fight timed out and I won by like a little wincy bit because he didn't heal up all the way. Uh, but yeah, this was funny because um, he tried to time me out or something like that. And uh, he brought healing to the arena. Now, the arrows he's talking about is it's a technique that I came up with in the arena where just as the gates were lifting up, I would fire off two shots with uh, Ferris's uh, black bow uh, combined with the hawk ring and a pretty damaging uh, set of arrows. But my main goal was to see who I was dealing with from the jump. So if they would heal, I knew that I couldn't let up off of them. Like I couldn't mess around with them. If I got them down to a little bit of health, I needed to close the match up. I needed to see how much damage I was doing. So basically, if I got two headshots back to back and I only did like 200 damage, or let's say I did a ridiculous number, like sometimes I'll do upwards of like uh, 900 to 1,000 plus damage with headshots, and then it would only take a little speck of their health, I would know who I was dealing with. 
So that was just my little way of protecting myself, which, you know, unfortunately has a negative effect on, you know, people who are innocent. What's interesting about this, though, is I want to bring up a lot of the things people were cheating to do. There were pieces of equipment that provided, you know, those things in game. Like if you were terrible at parrying, you didn't need to extend your windows, your parry window frames. Just use the monetary scimitar. If you didn't want to get headshot, you could use the bell helmet. Like, if you didn't want to get backstabbed, you can use the jester's top. Like, there were so many ways that you could use actual equipment in the game to prevent certain things you didn't like. But rather than just actually using the stuff in the game, people would cheat. It, it was just interesting to me. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure I'll probably explain the same thing to him, but eh, whatever. Oh man, I having long discussions with these people. Oh, still going, huh? Hmm. Hmm. People really hate that bow. Wait a minute. This is a different conversation. GG runner, GG lag switching, GG bitching. Player like you uh, just deserve to die. So you're saying I run, lag switch, and cry? Exactly. Huh. So you're saying that the bursting pause of gameplay that occur when I hit you was my fault. Really? It's okay. Game is destroyed. But at start... With the fucking bow. <laughs> I don't know why that's still funny to me after all these years. But people really hated that bow. Oh man. You shoot. Then you're running. Of course. Because I'm an archer. Like why wouldn't I run away? What are you doing? What are you doing? Eh, that's funny. <laughs> that fucking bow. You see, you see what I was... <laughs> I'm sorry, but you see what I'm saying when it feels like I'm talking to the same person like you. I think people can see things from my point of view now. If you've made it this far through this boring video, you can see I, I don't make this stuff up. This is the same comment that I see again and again and again at a certain point. I just wonder, are you the same people? But whatever. What is this? Life is broken. Is this the one? Yeah, whatever. Uh, ooh, you're legit a fucking waste of air. Man, how many arrows or firebombs you gonna throw? Ah, funny. Hmm. Ah. Oh, see this some bird. See, he gets it. No fun allowed, basically. And I'll just say, haha, nice trolling. Uh, did I upset you somehow? Why did I deserve that? Oh, this is when I start feeling guilty, man. Now, with a name like Forbidden Fun with no fun allowed, you're supposed to be the troll. So this goes to show you, man, I took it to the level where I was out trolling the trolls. So how can you tell me I don't understand this game? Like... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, this is... It's here, man. You can check it out. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Vaginal Flat Beast had something to say negative about me. Cancer. <laughs> cancer is what that was. Not style. Huh. Cancer? How? Explain. Shot me <laughs> twice. <laughs> More bow complaining. I love it, man. Uh, which is just dog. <laughs> Then use some bloody spell. <laughs> his anal beats. <laughs> With his leg. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Oh, I should not be laughing. Why is this still funny? Well, years later. Oh yeah, this is years later because my profile picture is different. The same complaints years later, man. Vaginal flat beast. Has complaints. 
Yeah, bloody spell, <laughs> anal beads. Oh, I'm crying. Uh, then I get to invite it to, you just got styled on? The name is up its own anus. Like, I love it. Oh, so there was lag. So basically, I tell him to explain what it's like, because I like to know. I was under the impression uh, my fights with you were smooth and fair. See, this is me wanting to know, what's it like to get lagged? <laughs> fair? <laughs> that was pulled out of your ass! <laughs> Explain what the fight was like, please. Was I hitting you uh, from far away? Was I moving strange? Please explain. Well, the only things were your spell hitting me when I was nowhere near it, and the two swings hitting me about two seconds after I rolled away. Ah, okay. So I do have lag too. I don't use spells anymore. Thanks for telling me. I wanted clean fights, even if it meant I had to power myself down. But, yeah man, I don't want to be lagging all over the place. And to add context to this, this is why I use dagger a lot in bows, because you mostly hear people complain about my tactics, but not about getting hit when they weren't supposed to get hit. You know, probably like one or two people, like this would be the second person probably, but yeah, for the most part, man, can't accuse me of lagging though. Oh, there's more. I don't want to read it though, so. It's here if you want to look at it. I don't care though. Ah, oh, what's this one? I can't tell if I'm full of lag or you're full of awesome. Probably both. Be wary of ownage. In short, try pure luck. Glad to see some players who rely on skill more than armor and cheap weapons. Ah, oh, man, sometimes it's worth it just to get these messages like this. But it goes to show you, man. As much as people try to tell you my tactics were cheap, the weapons I were using, man, they had a steep learning curve. So, and I was just interested in advancing the uh, thief arts. That's it. That's what I was in for. Uh, in it for nothing else. Not the glory, not the fame, which I didn't get either. Uh, and I would argue and say that I did advance the game. Because thief arts to a certain uh, degree, well, mostly assassin arts. But yeah, I feel like assassin arts translated pretty well over to Dark Souls 3. Uh, I think I got to complete it, but I still had questions. And for obvious reasons, because I always wanted clean fights, but I rarely got them. So I don't know if assassin arts is actually good. Um... I, I guess that what I would say is not in the environment that exists now. It was good in what the game could have been, but what it actually is, the answer is no. So that that would actually be the, the truthful answer to that. Assassin Arts is pretty terrible. Ah, good duel, man. You're pro. We friends? Yes. What awesome with melee? Your pyro is too OP. OP? Yes. I open your penis. Huh. Don't play v PvP if you're still a new. I don't know. Just weird. Huh. Oh, what's this one? Why are you shooting arrows? Uh. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I did feel guilty sometimes. I don't. I don't even want to read read this one. But yeah, this is my philosophy here. If anybody's interested, more creative uh, ways to say I hate you. Can't you play fair, you faggot? That's all I want. Can't y'all play fair? I mean, dang. That's all I want. Wow, eat shit and die. Ret. Wait, who said I get ret? He probably did kill me. I don't remember. Dark Souls too trash. People really dark bad at Dark Souls. Yeah, more of the same stuff. Fight like you fight like a retard. Wrecked noob. <laughs> oh yeah, this one was interesting. 
Pyromancy casting faggot. <laughs> Pyromancers use pyromancy. Fucking pisshead. Where are you like? It's like 14? Whatever. <laughs> this one was funny to me. I think I actually posted this one. It was so interesting. If I recall correctly, this crazy triple uh, nine person is a really uh, huge contributor to Dark Souls. So I was kind of surprised. I don't know if this is the same person, but when I checked out that name, because, you know, I typically want to see who I'm dealing with. Uh, this picture came up and it seems original. I don't know. But it was just interesting. Hmm. Oh, this is just me being a troll. I did a lot of uh, sneak attacks, so I often want to know how a person react uh, reacted to it. So this guy, I swear he panicked, so I just wanted to uh, ask him. And I think he said yes, I don't remember. Oh, uh, more trolling. <laughs> Chester's complaining. That's funny. Ah, nice comeback, man. Nice use of engraved gauntlets, too. Boosting your crits. Some people get it. Good fight, dude. I agree. That was kind of, uh... I was kind of playing around. <clears throat> Arena's been kind of boring lately. You were fun to fight. You, too. See? Nice, and look. Sometimes you got to see who you're dealing with, man. Notice how this person is a lot different than those other people. Mm, I don't remember this one. Hmm. Oh, what's this one? <laughs> Can you not be a reactive fuck? Or a, a huge dickhead. <laughs> oh, how's it feel using cheese tactics and still being this bad? Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> oh, I think I was at my breaking point. When was this one? 2015. Yeah, I think so, because my image is different. I don't... I don't know everyone, but this one I was actually like... Ah, this... Oh, okay, I see why I was so... Because, yeah, I had, like, all these people in line waiting to cuss me out. Okay, I was wondering, why did I reply to that? Yeah, I was kind of confused, but, yeah, that's why. Get in line, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah, family sharing. Same hackers. Yep. I don't even want to talk about that. Oh, I guess I did. Well, you're free to check it out if you want. I'm, I don't care. Look, I'm playing Terraria. I'm just like, you know what? No, nah, I'm done. Wow, when was this one? Uh. Somewhere near the, near the middle. This isn't quite the end of 2015, but somewhere near the middle. Oh, what's this one? I'm sorry. And I'm like, why is that? You did all that and still lost. I'm sorry. You seem to be really keen on using that to win. You look like you were working uh, it up pretty hard. You must really hate losing. Oh. So, yeah, this is just basically telling them, man, this is business as usual. Like, I was forged in the fires of uh, the arena, so the way I play is just how I play. Like, I'm I'm not a tryhard. But, yep, yeah. <clears throat> you want to read all this? Let me see. Make it easy for you. I don't care. But, yeah, you can pause this and read this if you want. Have some self-awareness. Oof. That's painful, man. Ah, oh, cosplay master. <laughs> yep, some people don't like it, man.
You take no damage. What's the point? Blah, 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 blah. You're cheating. Yeah, whatever, man. All these pages. Oh, I didn't think I actually went through this, but hey, you're free to read it if you want to. I'm not interested, though. Ah, and here's who I was dealing with. Ah, what we got here? Just quickly sending a message since I wasn't actually expecting you to accept. <coughs> I get that you're better than me at PvP. But can you just fight me rather than constantly mock me? I want to move on uh, to other people rather than just waste time. Otherwise, GG. And look. You see a difference. There's a certain type of person. Yeah, this guy was a unfortunate a casualty of war. Which is one of the reasons why I feel like I kind of stopped. <laughs> the worst player contest. That's funny. Oh. You like passive play, right? People who just wait for opponent to do something before they react. Not really. I just can't can't seem to hit anything unless I counterattack. It's pretty much true. It's an annoying play style. All right. Well, I guess if someone told me how to land hits, I could change it up. I even miss spot on counters sometimes. Even if an enemy looks like they haven't finished attacking yet, people still seem to be able to roll away. At least take a few swings here and there. It's just fucking annoying when all you do is just walk away and wait for me to attack. Then rinse and repeat. Can't do it. <clears throat> That's just sloppy. Before that, I used to get parried. Even when the parry animation was finished. Yeah, this is basically me just giving him the speech. But eh, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't think I accused him anything. But I mean, who knows? Oh, man. I must care. I always tell tell y'all I don't care and then look at all this wall of text but yeah it's here if you want to see it I'm, I'm not interested <laughs> that's funny well dial up dark souls the power of healing ooh what we got here Oh, it just aired today. What was this about? Now that I saw what I said and did in that video, holy shit, I'm an asshole. Oh, surprised you didn't argue with me. Haha, <coughs> <coughs> just didn't want to fight back. I got so bored. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, are those tears I'm tasting? <laughs> Look at me. Glad to see dueling etiquette don't mean shit to you. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. I'm sorry. More casualties of war. Hmm. You're pathetic. Now, I like to show that it's not all bad. Uh, some people do appreciate what I do. I mean, it takes years, like, this is two years after Assassin Arts, you know, but let's look at it, uh, let's see what we got here, um, oh, yo, Mr. Arena Champion, where's my Dark Souls 3 27 killstreak video with your Valor Heart, or we, or were you just talking in no skill, <laughs> Uh, this is my boy Zimzilla here. So let's see. Uh, Laura Lion just says, Just wanted to say thank you for the effort you put into your videos. I really enjoy your perspective. That's important. And as a result, I like your videos a whole lot. I like to play Thief in every RPG I play because I am so faithful to the class, man. I am. Keep up the good work and I'm sure people will find your channel. Ah, uh, the the well wishes were 
appreciate it, but it's a little, it's too little too late. And I say thank you for the support. I'll be able to post videos in 1080p quality for now, so I trust my content only gets better. Also, sorry for the late response. I'm still learning how to use YouTube. And then Laura Lyon also goes on to say, I know you must be, uh, you're probably busy playing Dark Souls 3, but when the next video, when's the next video coming up? The Pyromancy series is very interesting. And then I go, I wanted to wait until I got better equipment before making any more videos, but I plan to do Pyromancy series leading all the way up until the third game being Dark Souls 3. Now, because I can do much more, I'll be able to make videos I always wanted to make. I hope you enjoy. Uh, oh, it got cut off somehow, but. But yeah, it's not all bad. But yeah, I never got to finish uh, that series because by that point, like, you know, I was like, what am I doing? Like, why do I care? And I couldn't answer that question, so I just disappeared.
So, I want to make this very clear. It isn't my mission to suggest that I didn't get my money's worth in Dark Souls 3. That's not true at all. Um, I really did. Um, it was a great experience for the most part with uh, Assassin Arts and I accomplished pretty much exactly what I set out to do. Um, however, there was a lot more that I wanted to do that I wasn't able to accomplish because of the state of the game. Uh, of course, it was a Londo Pale Shade, which is also a type of rogue. Um, I was thinking of like a hyper mode red tears, uh, red tear stone ring, um, kind of setup, which has probably been done already. Um, but I want to do it more in a stealth manner. Uh, I was also looking into the sniper, uh, crossbow plus hyper mode with the explosive bolts, uh, Morian blade, um, and the obscuring ring. Um, never got to attempt this build, uh, because all of the items that you, uh, all the items required, well, most of the items required to make this build are kind of obscure and you have to play through the game a certain way. So by the time I was done with Assassin Arts and I found out how to do all of these things like keeping Grey Rat alive and joining the um, Disabled Church uh, and finding out about all these cool uh, things about the Londor Pell Shades, uh, Dark Souls 3's, um, you know, Online play had already gone to shit, so wasn't really anything I can do about that. Uh, Ninja Arts, nothing special really. Uh, just a different take on ambushing players, that's all. Uh, hidden Body, use, or Chameleon using the uh, Oni Slayer attack from the Oni Kiri and Ubida Ubidachi. And pretty much um, that attack was being abused already, it wound up getting patched. The bleed mechanic was broken, the hitboxes were all screwed up. So for the most part, um, it wouldn't have added anything particularly new or interesting to the game. So if I was to do this, it would probably be scraping the bottom of the barrel, but it was something I was looking into, but nothing special really. Um, but yeah. Now the interesting idea I had was a female version of the ninja based on a Yame from Tenchu. I wanted to kind of mess around with uh, the Firestorm spells a little bit to see if I can make them good. Uh, the Karthus Pyromancies and then lastly Boulder Heave. Um, those really caught my attention. I was thinking of uh, trying to get the most out of that in the DLCs. Mostly in um, Ashes of Ar Ar Ariando, um, the village area, right before, well, there's a bonfire right before you run across um, one of the, the Crow Sentinels. Um, and it's also right before the gated off area where you fight, um, I forget that guy's name, but it's um, Frida's um, bodyguard. I can never remember his name, but that area I wanted to kind of invade um, and use some stealth hopping on the roofs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this would have been more interesting because I was thinking about using the Brigand Twin Daggers um, and taking advantage of like the, uh, the uh, Karthus Pyromancies, but again, uh, never came to fruition. Now, this wouldn't have been bottom of the barrel. This would have actually been uh, kind of good, but again... The game went to shit, so. Alright, now Assassin Arts. This one, I almost completed. It has flaws, though. Uh, unlike um, Thief Arts from Dark Souls 2, I wasn't able to overcome laggers and uh, Phantom Ranger users. If they came after me, um, I wouldn't even say it was 50-50, like, nine times out of ten I was probably gonna lose, um, which is unfortunate, because usually the, uh, the rogue arts are supposed to counter things like that. Now, the thing with the assassin is I swore off using projectiles for the most part, so, eh, this character... I don't know, it was more so the result of um, the game changing. Because 
Originally, I wanted to make it a melee uh, spellcaster crossover, but because magic infusion was pretty bad when the game first came out, uh, I had to look into trying something a little different. So, ended up becoming a spell sword, pretty decent, um, uh, pretty unmatched in, in clean fights. Uh, you can see assassin arts. Uh, on my channel like I have a whole comprehensive guide of how this character was created now this character struggles with bosses um, because of course it's squishy and I feel like the game's engine is kind of like weird um, but you know this isn't about that uh, shield splitter and a few other techniques that made the assassin good were nerfed um, the assassin had the ability to kind of face away from the opponent and then start a shield splitter and then slowly through each point uh do a pivot and then turn around and face not necessarily the opposite direction but anywhere from up to i would say uh 45 degrees or a little higher than that so it was easy to do mix-ups um where you could throw a person off but that was completely nerfed like pretty much when you do shield splitter you have to commit to the direction that you push the button in. I'm sure they had their reasons for doing that. Because um, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was abusing it somehow. I remember being the only one using it. So I have no idea. Maybe what I was doing got it nerfed. But I don't see how. Because there's much better uh, weapon art. So, Oh and also a uh, hidden body was pretty much broken. Um, this character could clean out an entire uh, level pretty much but i'm sure you know that um and then of course hidden body was improved because it didn't work at all in any of the dlc uh, areas so but yeah pretty much powerful character for cleaning out um an entire level if that's what you want to do all right now i want to talk about my actual great accomplishments and this is why I feel as though it would have been really great had I been able to finish what I was trying to do. Now, this is my advanced thief arts. For the most part, people that know me call this an assassin, but originally it was supposed to be a thief. Now, this class is so masterfully crafted that it's ridiculous. This is one of the most overpowered characters that I think I've ever made in a Dark Souls game. And it doesn't have any terrible matchups. Like even if I fight somebody who has who is level eight hundred and like sixty eight or whatever is the max level in Dark Souls two, didn't matter. This character had the means to take them out. Uh, what was interesting was that this character could do just about anything. Could fight from long range, close range, mid range. It didn't matter. Like you had no advantages. And the best part about this character is, it, is if you tried to stall this character out, you would die so fast. And that was this character's strength was if you were cheating or if you weren't playing fair or if you didn't want to die or anything crazy like that, this character could take you out. Because uh, not only was it designed to do that, but because you could time people out in PvP. Even if somebody like had infinite health, uh, you can shoot them one time with an arrow and with this character, you could just time them out and then win uh, because the clock ran out. Now, I'm not sure if you can you can't officially give a character infinite health like you do take damage, even if it's just one. Um, but yeah, one hits all it takes. So I consider this build perfect. It had flaws, but they were intentional flaws sort of like the character was squishy of course um i mean not much else from being squishy like this character did so much damage it was ridiculous like i could backstab someone who was winning a fight one time and then depending on how they uh they technically recovered i could end the match in one backstab and to pretty much fulfill the uh, the lore of the uh, own brawl dagger because it didn't do it itself which of course probably would have been overpowered but still 
a perfect build. And this is what I was trying to re, uh, recreate in Dark Souls 3. Man, I make some good looking characters, man. Now, Thief Arts Returns. So unfortunate. Um, this was the build with the most potential. And um, it, it had the potential to be good. Um, but so many things were bad when the game first came out. Because this character, even though I was interested in using Bleed uh, at first, it didn't make sense to use Karthus Rouge with this character because it was a stealth character. So any extra steps that I had to take to ambush somebody wasn't going to work. So Blood Infusion would have been the next best, best step, but at the time, it wasn't very good. Um, now, luckily... I, I tuck this character away for the release of the Ashes of Ariandel uh, DLC, which wound up working to my benefit. Um, and uh, yeah, for the most part, the character was okay. It's still not um, it's still not um, it's still not as complete. Well, it's not even close to being complete. Like I'm still experimenting, but. What I will say for a character who's in limbo, it's pretty good. Like this character can solo bosses. Like I almost soloed uh, Sister Freda and Ariando. I actually have a uh, gameplay of that um, up on my channel. Um, I think it's called uh, a Song of Fire and Ice or something like that, and or a Fail of Fire and Ice. Yeah, and uh. Yeah, I was about like level 60, 70, maybe even level 50. I don't remember. Uh, I didn't really need to level this character up all that much to um, clear certain levels. Like this character was super low level in certain areas and I was able to clear it. But the idea with uh, Thief Arts and the other uh, characters was to give them all the equipment that I foresaw them needing from the very beginning of the game of course without cheating um and then seeing how the game felt when you had items uh that did or work together in a certain way before you were able to set out on um your bigger adventures and i thought it would add a much truer experience to uh giving your putting your character on the right path the same way the assassin, because of course making a thief is nearly, or at least a good thief is nearly impossible uh, in Dark Souls 3. Um, but you go, of course I did it, um, you know, with trading items and stuff like that and started off, starting off on the high uh, wall of Lothric. So, I mean, it, w it was doable, but of course the game again went to shit. So, wasn't able to finish what it is that I was trying to do. Now, my idea with this character was to go either full bleed or full poison. And bleed seemed to be more true to the original thief from Dark Souls 1, which is what I was going for. But trying to get pyromancy in there seemed to be tricky. So I went with more general spells like the poison and um, toxin and stuff like that. Um, I forgot I had another spell. Um, ah, I think it was the charm spell, uh, undead re rapport or something like that, which I had a lot of fun with. Um, but someone suggested iron flesh, uh, used in combination with quick step, which I think would have been really good. Uh, I just never got a chance to, um, experiment with that, but I, I think had I went simpler with this character, I would have probably had a little bit more success because this this character's rush down and aggressive game was just disgusting. Like when I could read someone and just keep rushing them down with quick step, and of course the pressure from the bandit's knife with the bleed building up and stuff like that, and then of course the shield being infused with a uh, simple and the uh, gauge slowly going up. Had I given this character a Farron's ring, it would probably been pretty OP with the combination of Iron Flesh, 
where I didn't have to necessarily worry about a person's counterattack. Um, and then of course the warden twin, uh, the warden uh, twin blades. I don't know. This character had a lot of potential. I just was never able to uh, see it through, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but this character was designed to do everything. I didn't. I didn't really get a lot of practice with the bow. Um, so it was okay, but I needed to develop the bow arts. Never got a chance to do that. Also unfortunate. Um, yeah, again, with the pyromancy, um, <sighs> just never got a chance to do it. Uh, also kind of messed around with hollow infusions, but I didn't know which was better the raw or bleed damage. Um, because I believe if I had went hollow, the hollow route, I would have had a, a little bit, um, how do I say it? Like, oh, it'd have been decent bleed, a little bit above decent of a bleed damage, but more raw damage. Or just go straight for the bleed uh, debuff. And I was thinking the bleed is kind of more what I wanted because... Um, this character was supposed to smother you, so I, I believe the the uh, quick bleed buildup was a little bit more up my alley. Um, the raw damage it was would have been great, but um, you can only have one or the other in this game. So I think bleed was probably um, what I was going to go for, but of course, never got a chance to um, come to fruition. Um, also, the prospect of, of Thief was so good, I was thinking of making a, a Grey Rat version, um, just with the um, the uh, Deserters set and, the, uh, of course, the Thief helmet. This one probably going more toward Poison, um, but again, same problem. Alright, so another accomplishment of mine was the Academy Assassin. This was basically my attempt in Dark Souls 2 to show that I understood exactly what uh, a magic wielding assassin should look like. So um, this was another powerful build. Now, of course, it had obvious weaknesses in Dark Souls 2 uh, when people start using anti spellcaster gear. Like there's really nothing you could do. Like once you start doing 60 damage, like it's a wrap. But I would say my only flaw was staying in the arena too long. That's it. Like, had this character invaded in a couple places, like, maybe 10, 15 times and then changed locations, like, I'd have been just fine. So, I consider this uh, character to be pretty powerful. Um, so, yeah, it's the, next, uh, the second nearly perfect build. Um, I don't think this character had as many advantages as the, uh, the thief, but... I think its ability to kill, its potential to kill is a lot higher. I was able to close out matches a lot more consistently, um, well, swiftly. I was able to swiftly close out matches uh, much more consistently with this character, which is what you want to do with an assassin. The other uh, uh, thief, the thief, which of course people call the assassin, uh, my friends do. I think I struggled mostly because um, people started catching on to what I was doing. So the fights were more so them trying to avoid my um, my conclusive attacks, which basically if you got hit, it was over. So it was more of like a standoff. This character was more of a surprise. So as you can see, like when I was in the arena uh, for way too long, this character got shut down. So uh, it's kind of, I consider them probably not equals but this character if comparing it to the uh, thief is maybe slightly worse only because I don't think there's any real counters to my uh, thief where this character has a lot of strong uh, counters to it so and then again uh, I was considering making the Academy Assassin but um, I mean, just using the sorcerer class would have been just fashion because those robes don't do anything. 
whereas the robes um, for the Academy Assassin that I made actually help improve the uh, the longevity of your weapon buffs. So this character was sort of like a spell sword as well, but uh, with the shield, I was able to cast um, attack spells as well. So this character was really powerful, um, but I don't know how successful I would have been it would would have been with recreating it in Dark Souls three. But again, never got around to it. So now this character was I I kind of believe this character was my biggest success, even though it wasn't necessarily powerful. Now I had a lot of plans for this one. Um now this character was made for low level invasions, uh mostly around um uh, undead settlement uh the very beginning of um disneyland or uh, uh Arithal valley and somewhere near the uh church of the deep those were kind of like my hot spot areas i was focusing on with this character now this character was mostly for fun um so not necessarily like overpowered but just good um and I would say the gimmick with this character was to just kind of be funny and to kind of uh, make a name for herself. But the the end goal was that she was supposed to be part of a, a, a band of brigands and to just be one of the many brigands that invade those areas. Um, and of course, I never got around to that. But this character, I got a lot of mileage out of. Um, now, this character... Um, I think for the most part, um, I did enough invasions to where people started to uh, take to this character because it wasn't a troll character like my usual, one, my like my usual builds. Like I wasn't to make people's lives miserable. It was more so to just um, to be fun and engaging. Like I don't think invasions always have to be so evil, um, even though this character did do some evil things. But the main I think the main thing that I wanted to take advantage of with this character, but I wasn't able to, was the the hosting where I would get invaded and then you would see a band of brigands uh, working together. Now, I had ideas of what the brigands should look like, like, of course, the, the typical uh, fat guy with the huge weapon who had on the brigand suit, uh, maybe a mixture with some cell sword equipment. And then, of course, the buff guy who was also the brigand and then her and it may be a fourth. But again, man, uh, never uh, completed it. Like it just got really bad, especially in Paltive with all the cheating. Like, oh, man, the cheating in Pontiff. Um, Another area was the Arithal Dungeon, which I, I think I wanted to stay away from. I don't know why. But I had a bad feeling about that area. Like, I'm sure it's probably really fun to invade there, but I don't know. Like, I just, I had a bad feeling and I just never uh, went with it. And then also I was considering maybe going sniper with her. She could do a lot, so I wasn't quite sure, but I think I was happy with the final build. Uh, she wound up using the uh, Millwood Great Bow instead of the... Uh, instead of the dragon slayer bow and taking um advantage of those explosive arrows which i thought was really cool and then of course um the band uh, or the gang of brigands was to uh, take advantage of the fact that you didn't know who the real host was my what i wanted to do though um and this was mostly in uh, Undead Settlement, is I wanted to, because the character wasn't overpowered, like, it was just good. I wanted to start fights with um, a Red Phantom, uh, start losing, run away, have them chase me down, and to an area, especially, like, the area right before you fight the Great Rotted, uh, the Great Wood, the, the Rotted Great Wood, I think it's called go in there and just as soon as they follow me in there uh two of my buddies block off the exits and then they're just trapped between three brigands like <laughs> like that was my idea but again never came to fruition just a little fun stuff like that 
And then of course, I'm never going back. As you can see, like, as much fun as I was having with um, Dark Souls 3, it's just certain stuff I'm not going to tolerate. And this place became just a breeding ground, man, for just cheaters. Like, all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, what even is this? Look at that health and stamina meter. Like, that's what I... So, you know what's interesting about this? Um, is actually looking at this now. That's what I'm up against. That's crazy. These are the people who I used to fight off in Dark Souls 2. Who, in Dark Souls 3, I'm no match for. Now, I'm sure I could have probably de uh, developed some arts to counter this, but... <clears throat> I just couldn't. I guess I couldn't put the hours in. Like, I just... I reached a, a breaking point, but look how ridiculous, like, that health bar is. That's crazy. So, in conclusion, um, it's a rogue legacy, man, for whoever wants to continue it. I mean, I'm calling on you. I'm calling on you, Zimzilla99. You always wanted to, uh, you know, do some Dark Souls content, I believe, like, if you want to continue the Rogue Legacy, man, I'm looking at you. Uh, you too, and Kane. Like, what's up? You make great builds. Uh, you understand. You understand like my ideas a little bit. I mean, you made you made the Blood Thief. Like, I'm looking at you. Uh, Dark Blood Souls. Like, you make amazing builds. Like, do you want to continue the Rogue Legacy? I mean, I would love to watch, but I'm just not gonna. Um, yeah, I'm just not going to participate anymore. Like, I'm done. You know, I'd love to watch someone else do it. My only advice would be, and you guys know, don't ever, ever play this series on PC. Stick to consoles.